welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. Thank you, Vic S, for beat two three three Murcielago. What's it called? He he has it labeled beat two three three Murcielago. Oh, is that Spanish? Sounds Italian to me. Oh, Italian. <laughs> but we'll um, we'll take it. Thanks, thanks for always sending in your instrumentals. They go to your mom's podcast at gmail.com. Don't DM me. Don't fucking tweet it to me. <gasps> <laughs> Look who's not o- a personality only, champ. Only if you want it played on the show. Your mom's podcast, right? At gmail.com. Yep. I it. answer DMs on Instagram. No, now. no. I'll I'm answer cool a DM. Like I'm just not going to play your thing from it. That's all. Kind of a good person. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm on the road. The Take It Down tour continues. Uh, this week, every show is sold out except for the added show in Chicago. That's June awesome. 2nd, the late show at the Chicago Theater has tickets. Go to tomsegura.com slash tour. Go to the box office if you're in Chicago. Uh, the following week, the late show in Richmond, Virginia on June 13th has tickets. Um, everything else minus, yeah, no, the rest of it is. And then I roll on Tulsa, Wichita, and Kansas City. There's tickets to the show June 30th in Kansas City. Uh, the, the tour rolls on. Appleton, Rockford, Peoria, Cedar Rapids, Evansville. Go to TomSegura.com slash tour. And of course, we added a show in Winnipeg, August 16th. We added a show in Vancouver, August 17th. Um, make sure you know... Oh, uh, September 14th, added show in Durham. And there is a matinee show added in Dublin, Ireland. So go to that uh, November 3rd. They're doing a, a matinee show, the late, the uh, original show sold out. A bunch of European dates are on sale. Uh, thank you guys very much. Jean? First of all, I thought of two new words for your dates. Wichita could be wet crotchita or wet crotchita. Is that too far of a stretch? I mean... Wet crotchita? Wet, wet, wet crotchita is crotchita. It's feasible. Okay. And for Winnipeg, I was thinking... Will he peg? I like that. Thank you. One out of two. Not bad. Got a big nod there on that one. <laughs> 50% batting average is really good, actually. I'm trying, guys. Uh, well, May 31st through June 2nd. Is that right? I'm at Flappers Comedy Club in Sperm Bank, California. And then June 20th through 22nd, Washington Dick Come at the Dick Come Improv. That's you gotta, Washington you, D.C. You got to try to say it right. Sometimes. Are so you people, telling me how to do business, so Tom? So people know where you're Are you telling be. me how to do business? If you just say... Well, why don't you read the dates then? You do my dates. May Go. 31st through June 1st. Burbank. She's Sperm at Flappers Bank. Comedy Club. Do, June 20th through 22nd. even know the show? She's in the nation's capital at the DC Improv. Dick Come. Go ahead. <laughs> August 2nd through 3rd. Salt Lake City Wise Guys. Short Lake Titties. Go ahead. September 5th, Milwaukee at Turner Hall Ballroom. Milk, milk Ballsy. Wait, what are we calling it? September 6th, Talia Hall in Chicago. Chicago. It's a great place. Oh, my God. What I'm most excited for you, yeah. September 7th, you're doing the Wilbur in Boston. It's moving so fast. I if know. you want to see me, get it. The, we're going to have to add a show, I think. Oh, soon. my goodness. Yeah, it's exciting. What's Boston? Boston. It's, Bo- it's Boston, Boston, Massachusetts. Now, Ball, Ball Stones. Boston. October 3rd through 5th, you're at Nashville. You're in uh, Zanies in Nashville. Nardsville. November 22nd, the Neptune, the Neptune in Seattle. Meat rattle. And finally, November 23rd, the Aladdin Theater in Portland. Horland, Oregon. Those are my dates. All Christina right. P. Online. If you haven't seen my stand-up specials, please check out Mother Inferior on Netflix, as well as The Degenerates. I do a half hour, uh, eight months pregnant. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> on Netflix. You look hot. Really? Yeah. Oh, I've been waiting for you to say that. What do you like best about me today? Everything looks you look great. Thanks, Jean. Do you yeah. love my hair? Yeah. It's Alan. Yeah. Teeth are white. You're going to get it. You're backed up. I could tell on the way in you are a little grumpy. You've had a cold, so we didn't get to clear your pipes out for the last week. Now you're ready to get your pipes cleaned, and I can tell. 
Yep. And we're doing our overnight trip tomorrow night. We're leaving the kids. We're going to stay in a hotel. We're going to do our mommy bonds. Mm-hmm. We're going to do. Let's we'll start with the balls. What are you talking about? I thought you meant <laughs> start with ordering in. I thought you meant. I thought I was just saying like <laughs> start with my balls. <laughs> we're going to check in the hotel. I'll milk your nuts. Get the poison out. We can watch a movie. Get some in-room dining. Be great. Take a nap. Sound and like a then, plan? And um, then later on, you know, we'll just go stay with our parents. Spend the night with our parents. Oh, my favorite. It's so disturbing. <laughs> I know. Go ahead. Go Let's ahead. start the show. Let's do it. My mother and I share the same bed. I'm the little spoon and she's the big spoon. We act alike. We dress alike. We're like twins. <laughs> After this, I'll really look like yeah. you. <laughs> we party together, club together. I feel like my mom should live her life now like she's in her 20s. Why shouldn't she do that? Okay. <laughs> this shit is big time! Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother to this. <laughs> your mom is a fucking stand! Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom, Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. How long is this intro? No, I'm fucking pissed. Is this a normal length? Yeah. It's so long. Why is this shorter? You know, I thought you were joking, but uh, no, st- okay, the next episode will be five minutes long. I hate it. It's too long. You, do you know what the fans want or not? <laughs> The feedback I got Nobody likes was that it. people want a fucking long introduction. <laughs> That's what I heard. I don't. All my favorite shows, I've not liked a long introduction. What do you mean? I like the, well, like the Munsters theme. I, dun 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 dun. That's dun, what we're dun, doing. Dun, dun, dun. It's short and it's sweet. Dun 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. That's not what people are saying to me. I'm on the road. I'm out there. People are like, yeah, I, <laughs> I love the podcast. I want the longer intro. Like those people are saying. Nobody that to said me. that to me, and I've been on the road. Well, I've been on the road a lot, and people are and like, that's the main thing people say when they meet me. This is not true. Yes, it is. What cities are they saying this in? Everywhere. They're just like longer intro, man. Longer intro. <laughs> The people are saying it. That's what they want. Nobody wants that. Okay. I mean, look in the YouTube comments. You can monitor that. <laughs> yeah, Blue Band. What so, are they saying about see, the look, intro? If I'll tell you this, if they say <laughs> it's too long and they want it shorter, I will sign off on a new intro that's half as long as this one. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'll I'll put all that to rest. I mean, I haven't seen one comment complaining that it's too long. Oh my god. <laughs> The okay. only complaint I see is that it's not long enough. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So don't worry. Next week we'll get a five minute version. Thank you. I think this is biased. I think Robert Mueller needs to do an investigation. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are, there's collusion going on. Okay. Um, can I tell you about this opening clip? Is that, you know, when this is such a, I'm so excited. So am I. This, so, and I'm already upset about it. <laughs> That's what I like. I like a show that I'm excited to watch. It's already pissed me off. Now, this show, it's been brought to our attention, is called Smothered, and it's a new program on TLC. I don't know how I missed this. I mean, we were literally looking through the TLC catalog last night, and I didn't find it. But I'm very excited. Grown-ass people. (laughs) Just neck and neck. Great gardening with mom. Right. It is great gardens. Exactly. And that is a cautionary tale about this kind of a life. But here's the deal, man. So at first I saw it and I was repulsed. And then I thought, what's wrong with having this kind of relationship with your mom? If you're both into it, is there really anything wrong? Yes. What? I mean, I, I wish I had a mom that I like. My mom was a fucking animal. No, I like know. Like if I had a nice mom, maybe not, I'd want to do this too. It's, no, it's not healthy. I mean, it, it's not, there's, there's a, a, a spectrum of healthy, normal behavior, and this does not fall into it. It but just what, doesn't. But what are they depriving themselves of? If well, they don't want to be married to men, they don't want children, what's the prop? Y- your mother is supposed to be, you know, a, a guiding force, nurturing, caring, loving, but it's not supposed to be your lifelong roommate. So it's... it's Works for me. I wouldn't mind Ellis and Julian staying home. Because they're babies. I don't want so, them leaving. I know, but that's a normal way to feel about them as babies. Mm. When when 
your son is 30? Yeah. And he's like, Guess we're getting into bed with you, mom. <laughs> Even better. Oh, no, no. Come here, babies. No. I would love it. Do you yeah. want me to tuck you in as he's, yeah. No. You want a story, Juju? Yeah. yeah. yeah but you're, you're, you're just, <laughs> yeah. you're putting children's behavior into adults. That, that's what's going on. That's why it's not healthy. Oh, that's, that's, that's why. It's acting like a, a child. It's an adult. I guess, but Needs they're to be both into living it. their own life, you know. No, she I mean, yeah, they're not opposed to it, but it's still not good. And and I'm, <laughs> it's going to make me happy when that lady's left alone. Do you think she still breastfeeds her daughter? That would be fucked up if she's still like, I want. What if she eats her out? Oh, stop! What? You don't eat your mom out. You could. Dummy. You can. Would you rather? Oh fuck. <laughs> Would you okay? Uh, hear me out. Would uh, you rather eat your mom out? Oh God! Or she gives you a blowjob oh. with eye contact? Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> Gotta pick one. You or go we kill first. both your children. God damn it, Nadav. <laughs> what? What would you rather do? Would you rather eat out your mom, or she gives you a blowjob with eye contact? <laughs> No, to completion. No. no, no. no. Oh, Josh, <laughs> can I pass? Can I pass can, off? What's Potter think? I gotta think about this one. Yeah, yeah. This, is a, this is a real thinker. Yeah, well, come on, TikTok. I'm gonna murder your dogs, well, your maybe, children. Maybe, I got a gun to your maybe, baby's head. Maybe if you're, I, I think maybe, oh, Jesus Christ, eating out is different because there's no eye contact. Oh. And you're close enough where you could maybe pretend it's something else. The blowjob, she's looking right at you, making eye contact. There's no avoiding that. What if you eyes. really get into eating her out, though, because you're not looking? Yeah, that'd be, that's nightmare fuel. Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I hope that wouldn't happen. Or, I mean, okay. That could, yeah, that could really backfire, Tom, you're right. Or Fuck. she gives you a blowjob, no eye contact, but you have to come. <laughs> I'll make what is it a wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You no, brought you, this you, up. You, you brought this up. I did, but I didn't take it here. But you know that I pick up the ball but, and I toss it into the basket like LeBron. <laughs> toss it or into Or whatever the it's called. Yeah, that's some 1940s commentary. He tosses the ball <laughs> into the basket <laughs> for two more. Okay. Come on, answer the question. I don't want to answer I've the got fucking a gun to question. Your baby's head. Kill my kids. No, no. Pick one. You eat your mom out or she gives oh, you a blow drop to a, completion. Man. Well, why don't you, you thought of it? Why don't you answer it my mom's dead i don't okay care. so you got to blow your dad <laughs> <laughs> or your dad has to eat you out as he looks at you he's very much alive what's your answer <laughs> hurry up <laughs> I can't. come on the eye contact is what kills me on this. so you'd blow your dad okay yeah I'd, yeah oh. well because then you could zone out like you, you could take your mind somewhere else I mean, we've all given. Uh, You're dad. like it's Ryan Gosling. Oh. Yeah, we've all given lazy blowjobs where sudden, you got to take yourself over. Somewhere. And your dad's like, "That was really good." <laughs> okay, then you. Now you. I answered it. You fuckers have to answer it. <sighs> really? I mean, I mean, you guys are pussies. Just no. fucking answer it. It's a hypothetical. It's not a reality. It's a hypothetical. Well, whatever you said then. Oh, yeah, stop. The, Don't pussy out. Don't no, be a the, fucking... The no eye contact version. I'll take that one. Okay. Tom? Wait, but actually you said that you, you close have to, your eyes. You, you have to you come. Close your eyes. Yeah, close your eyes, but you have to come. Oh, yeah. my God. Oh, my this God. This is really terrible. This is really <laughs> That's bad. the point, you <laughs> fucking so sissies. Answer it. How come I'm the girl and I'm more of a fucking man? Come on. Is there talking about it afterwards? Like, do you have to... Of course. No. <laughs> yeah. You no, you got to <laughs> You got to have dinner together afterwards. No. To talk about it. No, that's the worst part. Yeah. That's the I'm worst play part. Play and over dinner. and and then you have to give like tips like what you liked and what you didn't like. Oh my god. That's yeah. the worst. Oh, I'm tearing up, man. That's just so disgusting. This is absolutely <laughs> so upsetting. But pick one. Pick one so we can move on with the show. Okay, I got it. Okay. Hey. I'd blow my dad. <laughs> That's not on the table. Well, that's what I want to do, though. <laughs> why? Why are you picking? I'll blow my dad and dad. your dad. I'll do a double blood <laughs> job to avoid. To avoid. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'll take. I'll take that. I've never right. done this before in Would You Rather's, but yeah. I would take that. Go ahead, native. Um, yeah. The the no no eye contact closing my eyes. Oh, you said that. Yeah. Okay. No, so you would. And come, then what about Potter? Have, Did he decide? Yeah, Potter. <laughs> you've had time to think. Uh, 
I guess I'd eat my mom's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Chris? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Got to answer. Uh, Josh would eat his mom out. Jesus Christ, the savage. Yeah. yeah, this is uh, this is a real thinker, Christina. Chris, do you need more time? No, he doesn't get more time. <laughs> We've got a gun snap to your decision, dog's head. Snap decision. Uh, All right, blowjob. Blow blow you take the blowjob. Blow okay. Blow Interesting. <laughs> um. Okay. You guys are all savages. It, doesn't it almost seem worse, by the way? Um to do what these people are doing just live with your mom <laughs> <laughs> like wouldn't that be terrible oh, if it I mean, yeah would you rather like get a oh. blowjob from your mom or live with her oh my god rather kill I'd, for I'd, like two years oh no my i'd rather god. commit suicide if i had to live with, uh, no like i left home the minute i could i would like never live bedroom, home like a small oh my like god nowhere to hide no that'd be the worst <laughs> but you don't have to talk at all about your you, blowjobs yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I, again, I mean, what's the what's the downside? If you like your mom and your mom likes you, well, I mean, you know what? Why I don't we people... get a little more exposure <laughs> to what's going on? Right? Isn't there more? Let's see what else. Because I feel on. there are mothers and daughters that they this is this is what happens, especially when you're a single parent. A lot of times, you become very close to your daughters. Okay. My mother and I share the same bed. I'm the little spoon, and she's the big. Spoon. We act alike. We dress alike. We're like twins. <laughs> After this, I'll really look like yeah. you. <laughs> we party together, club together. I feel like my mom should live her life now like she's in her 20s. Why shouldn't she do that? OK. If the water is still hot, we will share the bath water. Uh -huh. If I could find a man version of Angelica, I would marry them in a heartbeat. <gasps> oh my so gosh, I love it. She is the love of my life. You can tell you can tell that they're channeling the energy in the wrong direction. Right. You know, you can tell. You can tell that like like this very telling that she says, if I could find a man just like my daughter, I would marry that man. But she's like putting that all that energy that she should put out there into finding a partner. You know, I just I know, but I feel like you're being negative. These women are ecologically minded. They share bath water to save water. Oh, it's kind of a nice thing. I don't know what the problem is. Fucking foul. <laughs> I wouldn't even share your bath water. No, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. But I would share my son's. I don't mind. Like and then Alice, you tell she's like I bought you Julie. this ring today like a like a lover would. I know that that's too weird. I wouldn't like that. And then yeah, giving mom pedicures. Like just making sure everything's are you all right? Everything good for mom? It's too much. It's One time normal. my grandma made me give her a pedicure when I was a little girl. I hated it. Her oh. feet were so gross. <laughs> she had like Fred Flintstone feet. <laughs> like old lady. Yeah. yeah. You remember because like, like when you're I mean, old people are so disgusting when you're little. <laughs> like, you know, when they're like, Go yeah. hug grandma and grandpa and, they and they you're smell. like, Ugh. They smell different. Yeah. It's the the death that's death. that's imminent is like it smells. Yeah. And, you know, they have things coming out of them. And yeah. Yeah. It's, They're dying inside. Yeah. And I just hated touching her. And I remember she's like, give me, please. I would like a pedicure. And then like, she, would, oh she was God. very affectionate. How old like, were you? Ugh, like seven. Give she, me pedicure? Can I have pedicure? And then um, she'd make my cousin Shadi and I give her like leg rubs to like massage lotion. Yeah. That's, that's no good. Ugh. It's terrible. Old people. Old people lotioning is not it's good. so gross no. yeah mm -mm. she was a real asshole christina lives five houses away from me Ugh. we meet for that, breakfast lunch dinner geez oh. you guys could shovel a little and i uh. wouldn't have it any other way yeah. you guys are wearing the same sweater really <laughs> yeah my sister is very obsessed with my mom <laughs> and my mom is very obsessed with my sister you absolutely see, see how she she knows like the girl knows but why does her mom why is her mom in a in a in Motley Crue? I yeah, <laughs> dude, she looks haggard. She she just lived rough. Right. Yeah. But like, why does she look so bad? Like that looks like a coffee mug, but that's vodka. Right. You know? <laughs> can you? But I'm being serious because I don't want to look like that. So like, what <laughs> I don't can I look do? Like that. Well, what is she doing that I can avoid? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> is it alcohol and sunlight? Alcohol, sunlight, smoking, lack of sleep, <laughs> drugs. Yeah. <laughs> Hooking up with her daughter on a regular basis. Cool. All those things will age you. Yeah. I don't want to look like that when I what age. If that, what if you find out that Fuck. lady on the left is like 38? 
<laughs> She's just bad genetics. Yeah. Well, you know, those gypsies don't too. age well either. Remember hey, that gypsy hey, show? Hey, 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 easy on the G word. That's what they call hey. themselves. Romany shale gypsies. Yeah, yeah. I'm Romney. <laughs> My big fat gypsy wedding. We used to watch that, remember? And the yeah. gypsies, they always age. That is like a 40-year-old gypsy Pinche woman. gitanos de mierda. <laughs> I'm Romany Shale. Roja Tsigain. Roja Tsigain. Oh. <laughs> they hate the Hungarians, hate those Tsigains. I know, the Spaniards do too. Oh boy. Puta, he <laughs> Remember Madonna, was it in Hungary where Madonna was like, and I support the Roma, <laughs> the Roma people? And Hungarians were like, like, boo. <laughs> it was like an arena. <laughs> <laughs> just like I stand with the Roma people. Boo. <laughs> that is one thing I will give to my tribe is that they're very like, hey, bro, get steadfast what? in yeah. their racism. We don't like others. <laughs> we don't like this gender nonsense. We don't like foreigners. Like, hey, you don't like it, don't come here. Like, yeah. all right, cool. No, no, Hungary's really got that down. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, they're they're openly uh, xenophobic, yeah. yes. anti-Semitic, anti-homosexuals, uh, all of the above, yeah. which yeah. is fine. I mean, if you want to be that, which is fine. <laughs> I hey, I'll tell you some, and I know in this fucking snowflake generation that you're not you're supposed to be all inclusive. Everybody loves each other. Guess what? The, the world doesn't operate that way. So if you want to live like Hungarians, go live in Hungary yeah, with yeah. the other people that think the way you do. If not. I'm doing America. a show there. I, I keep forgetting. Oh, <laughs> you should open with uh, the Dude, Roma you know people. What I, should, you know what I, should do? <laughs> I should just get up there and be like, the Jews are a problem. The gays are a problem. And just see if they're like standing. Yes, ovation. yes. yes. <laughs> and just start putting techno music on. He's like, <laughs> Segura. Segura. He gets it. He gets it. <laughs> They're gonna lo- I gotta teach you some phrases to say to these oh, people yeah. when you show up, bro. I'm gonna walk up going, Michinas. Michinas, I don't have to What are you yeah. doing, you rotten gypsies? <laughs> That's what I Yeah. Rotten gypsies. You can't they, even um, say it. Oh, you they, have to say rotten they, gypsies. Uh, they forbid by law now gender studies. Yes, the president <laughs> or the prime minister. He did. He said, uh, We're yeah. not uh, giving any money to the universities to study this gender stuff because we don't think it's real or yeah. whatever. Or he just thinks it's a waste of resources, is what I understand. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, Just uh, like, hey, um, <laughs> hi, how, how are you? What's your name? What's your pronoun? You know, and I saw on the gram that a, a lot of transgendered people are upset about the new Snapchat filters where you can swap gender. Have you, have you done it yet? It's so fun. No. But I'm why, on Snapchat. I'm upset? on all the cool apps. Um, they're upset because they think that their gender is not a joke and you shouldn't be joking. That is a great point. <laughs> that is a good, good, good. <laughs> You guys are doing good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Snowflakes. Right. Uh, it's, it's just, okay. So um, big news in the it's Segura. Not a joke. <laughs> not a joke to swap faces with somebody. I stand by that 100%. And you know what? <laughs> also, this bullshit about the future is female. Yeah. How about the future is intersectional? All right. Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, a lot of men have a uterus. You know what I mean? So I'm so glad someone's saying it. Yeah, pretty soon we won't be men or women. We'll all just be one unigender, which is a dream I for love me. It. For me too. It makes me want to come. <laughs> rop, rop, rop. <laughs> um, speaking Wait, of coming, well, hold on. Mm-hmm. Don't you think that uh, I, be, I should be offended by the filter that puts dog ears? on people as well because isn't that against well, my, animals my, cruelty to animals my hound is not a joke right my dogs yeah. aren't a fucking joke you ass, a joke hateful piece of shit yeah okay so big news in the segura house our son ellis is taking swim lessons for the he's, second time for the second time he's three and a half so we did it last summer but he wasn't really able to kind of pick it up he couldn't really focus and you know he's two and a half yeah last well let's start with last sure summer. last summer a girl came over. They come to the house. We have them come. And it's a girl, by the way. I signed up for these swim lessons. The person comes to the house and I fucking eyes on. I watch. Yeah. Because they go, do you want a male or a female? I'm like, what do you think? You think I want some fucking guy touching my little boys? Never. No. Never. <laughs> so I order. I, and I made sure to call it. I go, I want a woman. Yeah. Sweetie. Even though we're all gender neutral. Right, yes. Tom? There's no such no, thing as I gender. No, I agree. Because guys are perverts. <laughs> So, and I want your little fucking pervert 
swim Luganus AIDS patient coming into my fucking pool, fingering babe, my boy. Babe. So we get on the phone. We get on the phone. We say we want a girl, and then the lady goes, "Do you like big tits?" And then we said yes. And guess what? What did they send over? Oh my gosh! The biggest fucking pair of tits. I mean, they were so big that I'm glad I didn't have to point them out because you were like, of course. Wait till you see these fucking tits. Well, here's the I here's mean, the we're deal. We're talking like yeah, screaming out of there. Screaming. They tits. were they were, they were you know like airbags, like airbags. They, air they were old world tits. They yeah. were like from another time. Yeah. <laughs> she was like Renaissance. She was like a German grandmother. Yeah. When she was yeah. sixteen or something. Yeah, yeah. And they were enormous, like triple Fs. Yeah. Well, because I had big cans growing up, but yeah, my but cans not were, like this. No, like I had a C cup by the time I was in like ninth grade. What size do you think her tits really but were? But this is what I'm saying. So there's there's girls that have big racks, which is what I was, but I could kind of camouflage it. Like mm -hmm. Nikki Glazer and I have disguised, uh, deceptive. deceptively large breasts. Yeah. Now there's the other facet. There's always that one girl in your class Oof. who's got the basketball tits. Yeah. And she gets called a slut from like day one, even Poor though there's probably, she probably is not a slut, but those there's freakishly big tits. And that's what this swim teacher had. And every time she'd come over with yeah we were like look at the cans on this one i mean they were just like no wonder you got into swimming all you do is fucking float <laughs> i mean they were just they were I just know. ridiculous and i was nervous because we were kind of making fun of her in front of ellis and i'm like he might say something like look at your big tits yeah, or dad says young. your tits are big <laughs> my dad said that <laughs> that it, i bet there's a lot of milk in your tits and she's like mm-hmm so big i'm in high school <laughs> <laughs> anyways he was too young he was i mean it was but great it was to get good him, to get him yeah, acclimated he got in the, the water pool. he gets acclimated and then uh um, plus it's a safety thing when you got a pool you got to teach the kids how yeah. to swim but anyway he fuck, didn't he yeah. didn't learn how to swim but he got he got used to being in the water he liked being in the water yeah and he then loves it was it. like all right so then uh, you know a year passes we're coming into summer again you call you get a new swim teacher. I'm out, I'm out while the lesson starts, but I, when I come in, <laughs> I walk back there and I see that our three and a half year old is in with a new swim teacher who, uh, and, and our son is naked in the pool. Yeah, he, he refused to wear his swimsuit. So he and took it he, off. And then he took the diaper off. And right. I was like, have you ever taught a naked uh, three year old? She goes, yeah, two girls though. I'm like, well, you're about to get a dong in your face. Yeah. There's so, a little boy. He's in there and he's having the time of his life. Yeah. I see it. And he's doing all the stuff that they were trying to get him to do last year. Like holds onto the wall, climbs on the wall. You know, he's doing like kicking out and you can tell he's having a blast he's taking, she's, you know, trying to get him used to getting under. So splash yourself with water, this whole thing. And we're sitting there and then I, you know, I see, I, I keep laughing because every time he pops up, you see his, his cute little butt. And I'm like, you know, wouldn't it be something if like right now I just got naked and got in the pool and then she's like um what's up and i'm like oh we're all just swimming right and then by the way tom's telling me this fantasy like <clears throat> 10 feet from where she is i think it'd be Ear great shot. to like you know i just drop i drop my shorts <laughs> and no one says anything like you're just like mm -hmm. and then she's like oh and then what does she do does she just stare like in the other direction <laughs> Right? Does she try to pretend like it's normal? She she pretends she'll go um, and then she'll just kind of let it go. I think she might just go um. But then I keep popping out like our son does, <laughs> so like you keep seeing like <laughs> dick and ass, and she's like okay, and then I go oh, can you help me kick too? And then I just float over to her, and I start kicking. She's like oh, uh, but then she might go. We didn't. I didn't sign up to teach you. This is just for children. And I go, but I don't know how to swim either. <laughs> and what I'm if just you standing i'm just standing but what water. if you oh no no here's what you do so ellis is in the pool and then you pull down your pants you take your shirt off and then you go sit by the steps with your legs open <laughs> right where they are yeah. and you're just like i'm watching i'm just, I'm just watching i just want to watch them learn how to swim and then she goes <laughs> oh okay and then like a few minutes later you take your clothes off <laughs> and then you're naked and you're sitting on the other side <laughs> and you have your legs open too so she's got to <laughs> right into your snatch and then, and then and but then, we don't say anything we don't yet, say anything do we? <laughs> but then like after five minutes when she's like all right and she just keeps focusing on the on the kid and then we go hey you're gonna take that thing off or what and then she's like what and we're like i mean 
why are you wearing so much and she's like okay and no she, she doesn't say at that point she just she'll leave i think she should leave and then she takes it off no she won't take yeah. it she might tolerate the nudity for both of us she might be like well maybe they're european or they're yeah. nudists and but i think once you tell her to do it it's it's now, done then i take the boy in i come back out and then i just lay on the platform <laughs> So like my feet are in the water, but everything else is out. <laughs> and then I just, I start. No, in front it. of your kid? You no, I take him that. in, I said. Oh, okay. So now we're just sitting out there. Like, <laughs> no, no. And then the nanny comes out. Oh yeah, the nanny comes out and she <laughs> puts a hose in her crotch. And she sits on the edge of the pool. She's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> and then, <laughs> this is so stupid. And then we all like, as we, and then I'm yeah. masturbating, and you start, and she goes, "What's going on?" And at the same time, we all look at her and we go, "We don't know how to swim." <laughs> That's great. This is such a great sketch idea. Yeah. If anyone out there wants to make this, a famous director or something, we should do this as a sketch. This is a yeah. really good idea. I thought it was a pretty good. Idea. <laughs> anyway, this is what we were talking about. As our our child was getting his swim lesson, and she was like right there. I'm like, oh, she can definitely hear us uh, joking. She didn't know what we were saying, though. No. This I'm really happy to talk about, though, speaking of big tits. Sure. So <laughs> as you guys know, um, I've had to deal with a lot of uh, plagiarism, people stealing my ideas and, <laughs> and concepts. Uh, that's why we watermarked my mom's amazing fart <laughs> from last week. I got to tell you, listen, epi- was can cry- we discuss My episode cried five? This week when I <laughs> wait, wait, let's discuss episode 500 because uh, I mean, what a listen, <laughs> I defy you to find another podcast that cares enough about their listeners to create the fucking quality content. That was episode 500. It's pretty great. Brendan Urie, uh, panic at the disco lead singer came on the show. Not only that, he made a song for us, amazing, which we played at the end of last episode um adam ray i believe did we put adam on that on what on 500 was no it's just brendan it was just brendan yeah and then to top it off i mean not that brendan Urie wasn't a massive highlight you secretly taped your mother farting one of her original the os baby this big time time. (laughs) i got my mom doing one of her epic farts on episode 500 amazing yeah and she was amazing she started to cry when i talked to her the other day about yeah so how is she feeling about this not good (laughs) (laughs) she goes she goes i can only imagine (laughs) if my mother were alive (laughs) doing something like that to her putting her so low (laughs) and then i asked her i said she goes how many people do you think will see it? And I go, I don't know. I go, I think combined with the video, the audio, and then I go, and then I, you know, I'm going to put on Instagram, Twitter and everything. I go, I, I, I think a couple million. <laughs> and she goes, what? She's just like heartbroken. It's the best. Do you think she wanted to renegotiate her terms with you after she heard? Yeah, yeah, she can't. Because yeah. she, what did she get out of you? A handbag, a trip to Vegas. Yeah, and gambling plus gambling money. money. Yeah. So, I mean, I think it's worth it for a ten-second video of a phenomenal ten-second. Yeah, video. I know. I'm like, yeah. that's a good exchange. Yeah, it sounds. It sounds like I, when she was asking at me, I was just like, <laughs> mm, okay. So wait. Um, so what kind of handbag are we gucci no 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 she wanted this to me bag oh so. that's nice and that's a lifelong purchase it's a great bag is, they have a they great last warranty yeah yeah okay okay so um so for those of you that don't know show me how those big tits fart <laughs> uh something that i randomly tweeted a week ago for you know i've done it over the years a few times but some people were like, oh, you got that from that <laughs> Tinder profile. No. Um, and I'm like, uh, no, they got it from me. And some people were like, what are you talking about? So there's this, you know, there's this uh, page that will show Tinder exchanges. And somebody in 2016 mm. had messaged somebody, show me how those big tits fart. <laughs> well, I knew that I said it way before then. And you guys did the research. Look at this. April 2014, episode 214 of your mom's house mm. um it's in the description but also we have audio from that episode is that no. right let's see this about um i really would like to share with our <laughs> i really like to share with our listeners something you said to me on the couch was it sunday night we were 
watching Mr. Selfridge. Mm-hmm. Oh. And I was uh, gassy as usual. And I was sitting on your lap and we were just like cuddling and stuff. And then just share the phrase that you said to me. I said, um, show me how those big tits fart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry? Show me how those big tits fart. <laughs> I mean, look, you were giggling at that in 2014. Yeah. By the way, it looks like it was my birthday when we posted that. Oh, oh right. April 16th. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's, there's, look, I posted it June 9th, 2014. Right. Oh, Twitter. wow. Wow. I just want the record to show that I did not take it from them, that it's clear. Yana. That, that oh, and this is from an interview. Yana. In Vice Magazine. Also uh, from 2014. From 2014, where we're asked... Tell me about, I keep seeing on your Instagram comments, show me how those big tits oh, fart. Oh, wow. That's the interviewer asking us, and I say, it's pure nonsense quote that directly from our lives, and we talked about it on the podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's, um, it's you know, I just wanted to make clear, <coughs> the evidence is there. Yana, if you want to avoid the evidence, that's up to you. Let the record show that Tom Segura is the originator of the phrase, show me how those big tits fart. Very true. That's Very it. Cool. And, and also, I'm proud. What's your pronoun? And my pronoun is Zim. I'm an or. Or is great. <laughs> As in either or. Or. Yeah. So I got to get into this next talking point. I um. So ever since I had my towel drying revelation. Yeah. yeah. I've been noticing other things. So by the way, I did just purchase a towel that's like a robe that's terry cloth. It's coming in the mail. Um, and I, my second revelation, um, the hot smoothies. Yeah. We discussed the hot smoothie thing. I've since amended that. I've been putting um, ice cubes in my smoothies. Um, anyway, I brought it up to my therapist. And now I'm noticing like all these things that I've been doing that are just so like self-negligent. Is that the word? Or just like not self-caring. Yeah. Okay, so I recently figured out this latest one. My dental floss thing broke. The container broke. Are you listening to me? I am listening. The dental floss container broke. So you know that I've been using that dental floss that's just like the wheel of stray floss. Yes. Because I don't want to waste floss. I like flossing. And I, so I let it, I let it on the, the countertop and you saw it and you go, ew, that's unsanitary. It's getting dirty and now you're going to use it. I don't care about the dirty stuff. I still will use it. But here's what I've been doing. Uh-huh. And this is so stupid. Okay. So instead of cutting the floss, I've been like ripping it with my finger, like uh, putting it against my finger. That's why you have a bandaid? Yeah. You are completely retarded. <laughs> That's why I have a bandaid on my finger because the floss digs into my finger skin and then I have to wear a bandaid because it hurts so bad and not once, twice. This is the second time I've done it and finally the second time I'm like, I should stop doing this. I should probably just get scissors and like cut the floss or just get a yeah. new floss container maybe. Yes. I know. I know I'm working on it. Why are it. you doing that? I don't know. I'm working on it. You're just pulling it? I pull it, I rip it and then I, it digs you into my skin. pull it until it snaps? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> right. I know there's a metal edge on the thing specifically to cut it, but the metal edge broke because the container broke. So I just have a stray wheel how, of dental floss. How expensive is dental floss? It's like nothing. I know. I fucking don't know what's wrong with me. I know. What? You are completely retarded. <laughs> <laughs> That's offensive, though. I like that. Oh, I, used, I would never. You like use that. R word. I, I, would, I did not. You use R word. I didn't use it. <laughs> I didn't use it. Anyways, that's my um, R word behavior update this week. Uh, I'm okay. trying to find, I'm trying to revamp my life, guys. I'm doing things that are good for me. Well, one step <laughs> at a time here. Towel drying. Yep. Not using our fingers to tear dental floss. And I'm putting ice in my smoothies Putting now, ice in an ice which drinks. Which is really exciting. I don't know what's going on with you. <laughs> um, Gene, I think it is time that we... Get ready for our guest. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. So, that's it. Uh, here we go. Guest time. Uh, I'm supposed to play something. Here it is. We'll be back to talking about farts and dicks <laughs> after this quick break. And we are here 
with a dear friend, a fellow comedian and podcaster. He has a new album out called Read the Room. You got it. <laughs> it is the one and only Seattle's own Adam Ray. Oh. Hi, welcome back. It's your welcome second back. time yeah. Yeah. in the Mommy Dome. I love it. Good to be back. Yeah, Glad new studio rules. Last time Thank I think you. I was one of the last people at the, uh, at the, the old, house. The, the old house. dig, yeah. Yeah. Yep. You still have the house though, right? Lost uh, the house. Shit. Lost the house. Lost <laughs> it in a deal. Where's the chain? Um, in a deal. In a bet that I lost. But the kids, you know. The they, kids uh, came. You didn't bet the kids. The kids are still with us. They have different housing arrangements. That's fine. But, that's cooler um, as a kid anyway. You want to have multiple places to sleep. That's true. That's kids true. love sleepovers. They do. And they love outside. Because outside, you <laughs> can um, yeah, you can sleep. And Dude, they've adjusted to the non-bed thing. Wait, yeah, owls. Their room How often is, you get to see owls? Yeah, your room is nature now. It's great. They're very resilient. It's just character building. That's what we're telling them. For sure. Did, Did you we, say owls? owls? Owls, yeah. Do you live in a place where owls are prominent? Yes. 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 Can I tell you something? That's scary. Terrifying. They made a cartoon or some Crazy. CGI movie where they're like, hey, the owls are like Sean Connery was an owl, I think. This and fucking owl flew by. Lives in a tree in our backyard. Dude. The wingspan and, and the speed with which and the they smarts can, don't they aren't they smarter yes, than like bears and, and shit? Their vision yeah. is out of control. They got twenty twenty vision. They, more, <laughs> they got one one. They they're they're at they they can you know they're they're night hunters right so yeah. they're nocturnal hunters and and they can see like like you see during the day and 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 at a great distance so they find Waldo in one glance you know just what I'm saying <laughs> peak and then boop yes yeah <laughs> well we sit and on the summertime we sit on our back porch there a little back patio yeah and it lived this owl lives in this ginormous tree we have and just as the sun is setting you see him whoo, come out and he starts to hunt for the night and What's tom and i for? caught him a few I times like mice yeah. mice dogs little dogs Jews, they will yeah. snatch little up your Jew, jewish dogs yeah. just chewy like dogs <laughs> <laughs> a little chewy jewy dogs chewy jewy and squirrel you know squirrels are all jewy and shit <laughs> The fucking they owl. are. They're all hoarders, you know. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is <laughs> always complaining. All like, yeah. the nuts. That's gluten free. <laughs> hey. Hey. This tree's too tall. It's yeah. cold in here. No, we cheer on the owl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Get those juice. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, Nazi owls. We have yeah. rabbits too. We have cute little rabbits. They die. Yeah. Owls with, take rabbits. They die. With frequency. Fuck yeah. They and do. also there's coyotes in the area. So oh yeah, yeah. Coyotes. You know, the coyote owl rabbit. fight is one I would pay to watch. Dude, if that were a pay-per-view, pay-per-view event, if they were like following Pacquiao Mayweather is owl versus um, fucking coyote. Coyote. Yeah. I would 100 percent cheer right? on the owls. Because yeah. who's winning that? Well, I I don't oh, know. But, coyote. But don't the, you think? I, the fucking coyotes are horrible, man. They are. Yeah. And they, they go sound for who? Horrible. Rabbits. Little dogs. Little dogs rabbits, and rabbits. Cats. Yeah, rabbits. God cats, damn. Yeah. So do you got to get yeah. like a, a coyote proof fence or like a tranquilizer They'll gun? They'll jump or? right over your shit, man. I, they jump right over. And they're you know pretty. They're coming. Yeah. They start pretty, howling. The, yeah. And, and they it hunt in packs too sometimes, you know, so. Jesus. Sometimes they're solo. And the other thing that's crazy is you're, you know, midday driving down the street, you're like, well, oh, there's a dog. And then you pull it. Like, That's a coyote standing in the middle yeah. of the street, like Chilling. directing traffic. Just basically, yeah. like, go ahead. Yeah. And then they just. Are you a rabbit? Uh, yeah, come over here. Sit over there. Yeah. And they just, yeah, they're just on the prowl. They're man. nasty looking. They look like scraggly dogs. Yeah, they like, look like they kind of they jog on the yeah. the street. And you're what like, do we need Ugh. coyotes for, by the way? Can we just? I don't know. Like, what are they? You know how like people are like spiders are keeping the world, <laughs> keeping all the insects it's out. It's true. Well, you you want to get rid of spiders? Well, then yeah. what would you? Then when when yeah. all the mosquitoes carry you off into the ocean and you're like, yeah. oh, right. that's fucking, what are you talking about? Yeah. yeah what are coyotes? What are they? Who are they taking out? That's helping rabbits. us. Rabbits. Yeah, Do we have too many rabbits? Cats. Ask we Joe Rogan. I bet Joe Rogan knows cats. the answer to this. He does. Oh, he's, Joe knows I all this. That's a Rogan, Rogan question. I think he's eliminated a few coyotes in his neighborhood. <laughs> Rogan has for well, sure. Because they, that bow and arrow. Well, they. Uh, you know, he just goes out there at seven a.m. and he, he has a chicken like, hut. You know, oh, yeah. oh that's right. He has a chicken hut and coyotes killed all the chickens. Yes, a chicken coop. Yeah. So he has them That's and, fucked up. And, it, and they kill them all. So I think he waited but out. But like there. there's no, you know how like, you know, chickens were obviously getting their eggs and their, yeah. um, I was about to say their milk. But chicken milk. I don't think we're getting that Delicious. yet. Are we? Mm. Chicken, chicken milk? milk? Yeah. Oh, I've had it. Yeah. <laughs> I've had it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a quick way to get kicked out of Starbucks, but you it's can good. ask for it. It's good. Chicken milk. Drink some of that chicken titty milk. So like chicken titty milk. That, sir. They only they give you very little, but it's, it's so strong. <laughs> Great. But coyotes, there's nothing, there's no organs, there's no right. meat that we're getting no. from them, right? That would no. make. Them. I mean, I feel like what we're we're working towards here is is you're calling for a, a slaughter of <laughs> a all coyote coyotes, genocide, right? if you will. Yeah. Look, a lot of people come on podcasts to promote stuff. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, I come to uh, start revolutions. Yeah, the coyotes. We got too many of them. We I do agree. In our I agree. And by the way, there's not going to be that many people pushing back on a coyote massacre. No. You know. 
a massacre. Wow, we just really jumped. I was thinking, like, yeah. let's find a couple. Oh, I'm saying, you're just, just fucking them plant bombs. <laughs> let's fucking out. set fires. Bombs, yeah, yeah. No, Is what about snakes? We have snakes too. We have snakes, rattlesnakes. Snakes, but there's a, they're like snakes. the spiders. They're like, hey, the fucking snakes help. Yeah, they you do, know? right? Yeah, bro, I saw a fucking black widow. I was our gate wasn't working, and I lifted up what? this cover for the the mechanism. And I, my head was right up against it. And I look, it was in the morning, and I look back, I put my head back, there's a fucking black widow right by my forehead where Holy I was standing. Shit. That Aww. motherfucker was this big, just chilling there. And it looked fake. It looked like one of our kids' toys or something. I was like, Damn. fuck, man. That's why you can't get any like insect toys for your kids. You right. can't grab that like, accident or like, mistaking. Oh, oh, that's just... So you're saying I was like this close to wife number two? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could have had her. Yeah, that's a real fuck. fuck. <laughs> Can you believe this shit? I mean, does your girlfriend let you talk to her like this? She's pretty. Su- I mean, like she, she, uh, the, the you got to have the back and forth like you guys have. Yeah. It's yeah. very. If you can't laugh that stuff off, um, you know, then it's, it's how long you been it. with her? Two years. Oh, that's a good run. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I did long distance three. This is the first relationship I've had in a long time that wasn't long distance. I did long distance from with three different girls, probably from eighteen to twenty seven. Damn. What? One was college, like Santa Barbara to, to L A. And, uh, and then, uh, one, and that was cool. Cause then it was like every weekend I'd go up there and just, you know, consume the debauchery that is Santa Barbara college life. The place yep. is fucking bonkers. I thought USC was like a party school. You go out there and kids are just like, let's jump off the roof into the ocean. Fucking then get the beer, go underwater, get I the beer, it. fucking chug it underwater. It's the best place. Yeah. It's heaven. It's heaven, dude. They so just, wait, so this chick is what? She's a comedian or an actor? She's uh, in script uh, supervisor school. So she's trying oh. to be a uh, script supervisor. Yeah. Nice. Next to the director, the person that all directors hate, right? To yeah, be like, like you said she would have caught that yeah. coffee cup in Game of Thrones, hopefully. How does oh, that air? <laughs> How does that air? Dude, I think that's a strategic move by Them? Starbucks. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh. There's oh. no reason that that should have been there. Well, here's the thing. It's one thing for it to be, no. like there's things that could be in the shot. What? But oh. in like in post, yeah. nobody would be like, nah, and then. You can digitally take that out. So now Weird. I'm just curious about like who out, who did Starbucks outbid to get that product placement? Was Jamba Juice like one pube away from just <laughs> fucking having a razzmatazz? <laughs> no way, Jamba Juice. I love razzmatazz. Kind of, that's my favorite That's my go-to one. beverage. They don't yeah. have that kind of juice. That's Starbucks They don't have that money. kind of juice. No, no. You're just, you're all Jamba, no juice. All Jamba. <laughs> that's a big talk, man. Wait, who, do you, who else do you think was waiting in the wings to get their uh I mean, their that beverages? could have been like some Wendy's <clears throat> might have been up in there. A Biggie Fry just chilling. <laughs> For sure. A Frosty. Dude, oh. BK, Mickey D, but like Mickey D's making a nice comeback. They're like, our patties are now full of, you know, fuck McDonald's. chicken milk. What's oh, that? Yeah. I said fuck McDonald's. Fuck McDonald's, dude. Fuck him. Fuck him. I'll say that. Ba da ba ba. No. I'm not loving not it. Not loving it. Somebody told me Timberlake came up with that jingle. Did you know that? I heard that. No. Oh, fuck. That makes me not too, like then. Timberlake. I heard he got. I'm a JC Shazes guy. He got over 2.3 million, I heard, but. Yep. Did he really? Yeah. I feel like he should have gotten more. Uh, I think that song I, no, plays all I, the time. I think he's probably gotten ten times Please. that by now. Yeah, yeah. he's fine. He's let's not let's not talk anymore fine. about how Timberlake's not living life. To let's the start. Fullest. Let's start a GoFundMe for Timberlake. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Are you gonna marry this chick? What's going on? <clears throat> What's the uh, tit sitch like? Yeah. What's that? The tit situation. Great. 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 Really? No, that's, they a, that's it. Well, who cares about eyes? everything else? Yeah. It's um. We're we're probably four years away from kid. You know, right now my nieces and nephews kind of fill the uh, kid void right now. Yep. And um. I'm 36. I think by 40, I would like. You're gonna yeah. be a good dad. You're gonna, You're gonna be, be a dad. Good dad. I think I'm gonna be fired up, but I want to be like all in on it because right now I feel like I still am putting me first on every. But that's my like drawback. And then people uh, like you guys and, and other friends that are crushing it with kids are like, you can do both. You, you actually can. figure it out more so. But you know, but that is my concern is like that I, you know, would just um, maybe go so. And I know that right uh, when starting out, you got to be like Sandy Danto uh, was telling me that he's like, yeah, like I didn't do anything for like five, six months, but be with that kid. And I was like, well, you can probably find some balance. And he's yeah. like, not really, not at first. I mean, you tell me. Well, I'll tell you personally, I like to take one year slow. Yeah. Take the first three months totally down. Tom will take off. You, t- you slowed down a lot when we had our yeah. children because of those first couple months are so sensitive. And yeah. You don't get those months. You got to make back. sure they're not like rolling over on their face and stuff, right? Yeah. Sure. Well, just it's a, it's a sweet like first time, ninety days. You know? like the, ninety you know, days, yeah. That's the. Got to make sure there's no owls coming no around owls. to swoop them out. Labyrinth. Style. Owl will for sure Dope. take a newborn. Wasn't that what happened in Labyrinth? Yeah. Uh, the owl was it the yes. owl or David Bowie? David, David Bowie. Bowie was the owl. Mm-hmm. That's right. It was like yeah. Dance yeah. magic dance. Dance magic dance. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Nobody saw me turning into an owl because mm. my balls are just flopping through this uh, mm, leotard. Yeah. Mm. Fuck yeah, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm paraphrasing. I think that was the song. Um, cause I, cause I, I want it to be like in the meat of this before I forget. Yeah. Uh, read the room. Yeah. You recorded it in San Francisco? Yeah. One of my favorite clubs, which <laughs> apparently. Hilarious. I love uh, your album cover. Yeah. Really That's went really for good. it. You know, there was a nude beach that, um, you know, I was trying to come up with something that was, you know, that popped, that was like obviously kind of jokey, but not, yeah. not like, you know, so over the top ham bone. Like, yeah. like another one I kind of played with that my buddy sent me was like me, like in a full suit in like a raft in like a kid's birthday party in the pool, you know? And I'm just like, <laughs> hey, I never like wear suits. So it just looked weird. And it was all, it was just too like, I don't know, 1980s. But do you like suits by the way? Like when you see it, are you like, oh, that's Yeah, nice. I mean like the, the times I've gotten to wear them for stuff, right. it's like really fun to I know. get and the nice stuff right. you know? it looks it looks and then basically you everyone looks good in a suit fuck yeah and then you're like oh, i should have a bunch of suits that's exactly what i think every time and then you go like nah I'm never as soon as i get out of it like nah suit. fuck that yeah, yeah. i'm never gonna fuck it's too much <laughs> yeah yeah you're like, gonna wear i'm gonna wear this jacket <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 which is clearly not photoshopped those are my hands but when did you re- uh when did you record it uh in um f- uh, february oh okay so that's pretty recently line. yeah that's quick that's a quick turnover yeah yeah yeah. i mean we just uh did it over four shows i pretty much used one and a half maybe and there's you know i like to do a, a good amount of crowd work in my uh in my hour and so you're good at it thanks man yep you're good at it man i you know i have to though like force myself to you know there was when i was first starting to do it sometimes in the hour it you know be i'd always make sure to get 45 in but then there'd be you know, 15 and 20 in crowd work, but I never wanted to have that be like a crutch where it was like, yeah. you know, 35 a stand up, 25. Is of, the crowd work peppered in throughout? Yeah. Oh yeah. So, okay. And it's, and it always is that I have a few like, you know, jokes that I, um, as I'm going into them, I kind of set up like in talking about what I want to be, how I want to be in the NBA as a kid. And that was my kid dream. And then I use that as a way to ask somebody like, Oh, what was your kid? Like, what do you do now? And what's your kid dream? That's always a fun, organic way yeah. to like get some raw information that can be, uh, and then, you know, I, I like to, first time I saw a crowd work really was Patrice O'Neill at the punchline was one of the first clubs I went to. And man, he just sat on that stool for like three hours and did must've had five to six different things going through all his brilliant material. And then he was, he wove them all together at the end. And I was like mind blown. And I was like, Oh, that seems like the way to do it. Like if you can really call back and be truly cognizant of like what you did and if you can make things weave together and, and, uh, I fucking hate all these three hour people though. Oh, that was too much. Yeah. Yeah. It was too much. It was the Saturday night, like last show of the weekend. So I think he just. But every time I hear about those sets. So greedy. Isn't it? It's crazy. Who wants that? Nobody. And then when they use it as a point of, um, like some comic. did. Like, yeah, dude, I did four and a half hours. (laughs) Why? That's cool. Yeah, dude. Like I love. Same thing with fucking when people were like, I fucked for five hours. Yeah. Yeah. Dad. Be like, dude. That's at Adam Wright comedy. (laughs) Fucking like I love jokes? Dave yeah. Chappelle, but I wouldn't want to watch him for five and a half, six hours. Could no, and I just you and know I, I was talking I about him with somebody and and this the other day because he's famous for doing these like incredibly long sets. <laughs> yeah, and then somebody in the conversation was like, "Just saw him like two weeks ago, sixty minutes on the dot, like amazing, oh. boom, in and out." Right, which is like why that time is the time. Yeah, you know, that's, I mean that's the amount of time. Also, that, like, isn't there something to be said about leaving people wanting more? Right, yeah. sure. And also, yes. um, I don't know, sixty is a lot. Yeah, I think sixty is right? too much. Sixty to seventy is too much. I like 45. I like forty five fifty. Yeah, fifty is my sweet number. Yeah, that is sweet. Any more than that, That's I a good think number. I hate hearing myself get off, talk. I hear you. When you get off, I've noticed a big difference when you say and good night at fifty five to fifty eight. Yeah, there is a definitely more of like that pop of like oh shit like this is over. Yeah, than if you do like seventy five. Oh right, different. Yeah, God. and then people were like, "Yeah, great, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's it great." But they're like, to... "God, I've been dying to go home for the last." <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I've never gotten into any of those um, Lord of the Rings movies. Oh my God! And I mean, I know I probably Three should. What ones. a nightmare! That no, just seems it's like the fucking, fucking most boring thing on the do planet, that, dude. Um, I mean, we've watched them, I watched but them. it's fight, great. battle, great, battle, huh? battle, battle, battle. Midgets talking to each other. When they other, stop making crying. earbuds, then I'll tune into Lord of the Rings because yeah. right now that dog is up to some crazy dude. He's picking up ping pong now. Yeah, and the dog. If he, Air Bud? Air oh, Bud. Oh, Air Bud. Right. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Um, Lord of the Rings. Is it how much of that in Game of Thrones are consistent? The same as far, thing. Right? It's the same thing. 
Are they all looking know. for the same prize? <laughs> they all, they're all looking for the same prize. Is there a ring on the fucking Game of Thrones? That's is the there? whole point. They're going to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Right at the end, last episode. Like, oh, here's I don't the know. ring. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. I tried to watch Game of Thrones. You and I have tried a few times, and yeah. it feels too Lord of the Ringy to me. Yeah, it's yeah. the same thing, right? That's dark, it's medieval, yeah. and there's dragons and, you know. Little people hugging a lot. I feel like, like yeah, that's too much in any movie. In any like, movie. dude, I mean, even one is like, are you fucking serious? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Five. Wait, one <laughs> one movie? Were you thinking of when you thought of that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I did notice I was. We were watching a movie with a, a little person, and there's never a reference made at all. Like, no, that's so. No stupid. one says anything, and I'm like, no one says anything. <laughs> Like nobody, <laughs> it was. Yeah, I think yeah. it actually was Peter Dinklage, and I'm sure he mandated it. Of course he did. Um, and it was like dude's got no sense of humor. He, yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, even on his SNL appearance, that was Brad, um, my little person. Um, which, by the way, if you don't have one in your life, definitely pick one up for the uh, holiday For people season. that don't yeah. know, you two, you and Brad Williams, a great yeah. comic, a little person, but yeah. he's a great comedian. Great comedian. Also, do have been doing a podcast together. For years now. Yeah, almost 500 episodes. Oh. Uh, is that really a yeah. that long time? Is that crazy? Oh, that is long. Just fucking when did you like, guys start it? In 2013. Yeah, oh, wow. That's a long time, man. Yeah. Um, but, he's so uh, funny. You can't Yeah, he's great. You can't. Yeah, he's uh, What's the name of it? It's uh, about, about last night. night. Yeah, yeah. About last night. And uh, yeah, Brad was, that was his big uh qualm with Dinklage's SNL appearance. He's like, dude, he didn't like do one. He's like, he could have come out in the monologue and maybe even like, taking questions and been like you know any questions about you know and people being like yeah what's a yeah like, what's it like like when you can't like get uh when you can't like get the cocoa puffs like how do you do you call a friend or like what you like just right. a bunch of little any like, like and have them like kind of just disregarding them and be like well anything about my career you know and right just all these yeah. like, play into it yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah at least do a little bit but no mm. uh i've heard that but like in that movie it's the one where like um it's kind of like a time thriller. it's like a thriller of some type well there's um, simon birch that's brad's like rudy is what he says um, Simon Birch is about the dwarf kid that gets. Yeah, um, I remember that one. What does he get? He gets like fucking. He gets a. He gets like a AIDS. real debt. What is it? Oh. He gets AIDS. Is that what it is? <laughs> is that, that's yeah. what he overcomes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Like, I'm vaguely. It's something it's size related. Movie. It's like man, he beat AIDS. But no, they make him tall, but then he gets AIDS. Is that what? It, that's what happens. <laughs> yeah. So in the end, he's like, I'm tall, and they're like, But you're gonna die. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, like, dude, oh. about this whole tall thing, man. Congrats, by the way. Big <laughs> deal. No pun intended. But you're gonna die today. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, wasn't Peter Dink? He was like a detective. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. So here's the thing: detective it's not Dinklage. like a obviously yeah. like if a little person's in any movie, you you know, it doesn't have to be uh, addressed in every. No. But like when he, he's the star of this movie, he's like running. Like no one's even like looks like everything was. The fact that he's in a world like there's no where scene where he nobody, runs in and everyone's like this, and yeah. all of a sudden they go, "Oh shit, dude!" Yeah. Or nobody is like, Somebody. "Hey, you're you're this a little Pull up his IMDb if you can pull up his IMDb. I think because in the gosh, real world so that would happen, you know, people would be like, yeah. "Hey, dude, you're yeah. different." Like it's just what it is. Here we go. Um, do you think he just gracious. gets so much? Oh, he's do you think so he's just annoying. like fucking? Right oh, this guy's crushing yeah, it. Yeah, he's just crushing he's it, right? Slamming. Yeah. Scroll, scroll. Um, is it? Fuck. Rememory. Rememory. Yeah. Rememory. Sesame <laughs> Street. That's, the one. that's what stuck out to me. Oh, that's, this that's is the a good. This You've made it. Do you think that episode of Sesame Street was teaching kids about dwarfism? Oh, that'd be cool. I don't know. The they I think have Big Bird was like, character. why is it that I'm so much taller than you? <laughs> <laughs> but you're a person and I'm a Muppet. <laughs> I bet you. You're too. actually more of a Muppet uh, than me. Yeah. You're, you're, I, <laughs> <laughs> I bet you when he did SNL and like any of these things, I, you know, you know, the agent calls ahead of time and is like, by the way. Don't even fucking think <laughs> of writing a joke. Of writing a Sesame Street sketch. About, piece of shit. About fucking Big Bird. Don't you put him in that garbage can and say he's Oscar's protege? That fucking Big Bird is taller than Peter. <laughs> what? Isn't, isn't Big Bird taller than everybody? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. This yeah, is dude. The movie. This is him. No one's even that like, hey. That is true. Rememory, that's what it's called? Yeah. Love it's not that, bad. Dude. Yeah, not bad. You can yeah, he's got a, he's got a chip on his tiny shoulder about all this stuff. He does, unfortunately. Yeah. You can tell. one thing Brad does not have. Brad like no. Brad leans into it. Leans into it, man. Well, yeah. you know, he had to, it's like also his uh his dad really gave him that um, you know, fucked with him when he was a kid where it was like, you know, fight back and like made jokes to him and kind of just got him that thick skin, you know. Yeah. It's like uh, Bert Smart. with his drinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah Brad was it. on um, Doctor Drew After Dark, and he talked about his dad bullying him. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah, yeah. He. Uh, that's you know you gotta you gotta do that. Do you guys think about that with uh, with your kiddos? And just Having, the, yeah, I'm gonna be like, you're a fucking little person. <laughs> just <laughs> you're a dwarf. I'm gonna be like, what? You're not smarter <laughs> than Big Bird, you piece of shit. Toughen up. <laughs> no, yeah. No. I mean, I can't. I can't, the thing is, when at their age right now, there's such these delicate, sweet little things. They are, know? dude. Let them be as innocent yeah, as possible sure. and unaware. You know, I was just, my uh, nephew is uh, 16, and I saw him Snapchatting with some uh, girl, and, uh, and I was like, "You sent a picture of your dick," and he goes, <laughs> "You got a mouthful of braces." He was like, "Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing." And I was like, "That is what you're doing." He's like, "Okay." I'm like, "Just because you're saying it like that doesn't mean it's not what's happening." He's like, "Yeah, it's what's happening." I'm like, "Yeah, it for sure is right," and he's like, "Yeah, yeah," and then I'm like, "Dude, you're never gonna know the uh, the uh, stress and anxiety that comes." With, because he has that immediacy to like reach out and connect with her, and I'm like, you're never gonna know what it's like to like call this girl and have her dad accidentally pick up. You oh, know, remember yeah. that when it was oh. just like, you know, it's Christina there. You know, like, who's this? Uh, yeah. bugging, uh, who's this? And then you're what are like, your intentions? Then you look at the clock. And I guess it's eight o'clock. <laughs> you know, like he's like, it's too late. And you're like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you just recoil back. Yeah. What are your intentions? Uh, touch a tit outside the shirt. I don't know, man. I'm twelve. <laughs> yeah freaks you out yeah dude That's and that good, guy though. knows he but yeah knows. you gotta go through you know, that it makes you a man for sure but yeah, now he's just little... like what do you think of this he knows I you want to bust too like that dude knows you want to bust on his daughter my dad yeah. knew and he yeah. was like boys are fucking scumbags all these guys are <laughs> fucking scum yeah you don't let them in the house Fuck you're them. not allowed to do this actually let that. them in so they can look them in the eyes and, yeah that's what he did oh fuck them yeah that's right he would always have the boy come in like come like in, that. shake his hand, sit him down, talk to him. Whoa, yeah, dude, bro. Classic you guys meet up. just yeah. wrote like an awesome oh, no. gay porno. <laughs> no, really, where it's like come an in, older guy, older. And yeah, you oh have yeah, the girl. Here, let's play it out. Ready? Like, yeah, <laughs> I'll be what's his name, Raphael. <laughs> okay, so are you the kid? Am I the kid? Yeah. Okay. Hi. Hey, well, I'm here for Vanessa. Sure, sure, sure. Sit down. Would you like cocktail? <laughs> um. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, diet <laughs> right or. Uh, <laughs> Do you have milk? Fresca. You've got squeeze it or fresca? fresca? Fresca sounds good. It does, doesn't it? Yes, sir. You know, sounds good, my daughter. Um, excuse me? Yeah, you know, you know why you're here. <laughs> yeah. But I'd like to talk about something else. <laughs> yeah, what does that feel like? <laughs> <laughs> wow, we went right to it. Yeah. Wow, I mean, yeah. that's quick. I mean, they're watching, yeah. you know, they want to see something. Still want good. that fresca? Yeah. <laughs> and they yeah. just cut, you know? Cut. That's right. Well, plus, guys don't fuck around. Gay, no, they're right gay to it. Gay men go yeah. right for it. Gay men go right to it, don't they? Yeah, yeah. they're not like, make sure you kiss my leg. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> yeah, like, what? There's no courtship. Whoa, whoa, easy, Tomas. Kiss my leg. No. Yeah, that's yeah. shit. No. no, no, dude. Gay right guys to know it. what's up, dude. It's what's up into butt fuck. But really? Fuck. Yeah. Straight yeah. to butt fucks, huh? I, I, I mean, probably like a little rimming. Dick sucks. Probably a little rimming, yeah. And yeah, dick sucks. By the way, sure. what's up into butt fuck is a lost track on Keith Sweat's <laughs> second album. <laughs> What's up in the butt fuck? How many albums is this for you now? <laughs> What's that? How many albums is this? Two. What's Two. What's up in the butt fuck? Catchy, right? I like it. Throw, throw some strings behind that. Maybe a bass clarinet. Yeah. Dun, 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 uh, two, yeah. I did one called uh, Pop Tart Suicide. And cool. um, and then this is uh, the second one. What's but this one is, fuck? you know, I was in that point where I was, you know, I definitely would love to. Um, I got a big show in Seattle on May 24th at the Triple Door. And that's going to be an hour of all stuff that's not on this because you know i've been uh hadn't put anything out in what six years damn and i definitely want to you know i would love to do a special right now and i was thinking to self uh finance it and then i was like you know because you got to bet on yourself at some point if yep. you don't uh have people did chomping at the bit but did you see um DePaulo, what he did yeah he so nick DePaulo, yeah who's uh for, a if you move. don't know um you know vet of comp 30 years as a stand so funny Super funny dude, um, put out a uh, shot a special, yeah, and put it on YouTube for free. I think that move is gonna grow. Yeah, man. I think Josh Wolf did that. Andrew Scholes uh, just started yeah, fucking with that, and it's. That. I mean, people just want content, and that's why I was like, I just gotta put something out there, even if it is I think an audio it's form. Smart, man. And I had my buddies, you know, come tape all the shows on a couple red cameras, and so I spliced up a bunch of clips and, and start putting those up. But I think uh, sooner than later, I I'm just gonna, you know. And look, I mean, you know, you hear people being like, you could do it on your iPhone and do it for like a couple grand. I'm like, yeah, if you're a dumb dumb, like that's no. not going to look good. You, you got to spend a little bit of money. Yeah. yeah. Look yeah. good and sound good. Yes. Uh, and have it be the right space. Like, I don't want to, you know, obviously like um, where you did um, uh, um, 
the um, Neptune in Seattle. Oh yeah, great spot. Great spot. And like I might want to try to like that's a hometown spot that seems like a great size theater. That it's uh, a great it's a great space to I shoot. Could fill in. it up, you know. Yeah, Ali Wong shot. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Baby Cobra there too. You know that used to be a movie theater. Really? I saw Blair Witch there freshman really? year in high school. The yeah. Neptune. Wait, what's the theater I show? What was it called? What? In Seattle. The oh, you did the show box. The show box. Yeah. Also yeah. dope. That was a great venue. Yeah. Pretty. I just walked past it. Toilet's right by the stage. For real? So someone flushed in the middle of my Ooh. special. Could and you like get a whiff? A lot. <laughs> no, but it was like aggressive. Like <laughs> we had to like hold Yeah, sound. toilets. Aren't we far enough advanced technologically to have silent toilets? I know. You should be. Right? Yeah. Like someone's the in the airport, you just do. hear like... Yeah, some dude just you know ending his life oh in there through his God. asshole, and then just flushing the f- the follow flush is just like more aggressive than the sounds he was making. Yeah, no, it's crazy. Maybe it's the toilet screaming at what it has to swallow. Yeah, definitely. You know, <laughs> I was at the airport the last time I was at the airport, and I decided to just let it rip. You ever do that? Well, I guess guys do. You do when you break make brown in public. I used to have headphones care. on, so I don't have to hear anything. Yeah, sometimes I feel shy. I'll, I'll admit it. Like, For sometimes, sure. Sometimes you're like, Ugh. especially if you're pooping at the urinal. Like that's that is <laughs> come bad. on, that's like extra shy. <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh boy, you're like this is gonna rock it right over the back of this thing. <laughs> By the way, I did see a piece of poop in the urinal in Buffalo oh. uh, about two months ago. Yeah, sort of no. that's Buffalo. little little piece. Yeah, yeah, and um, uh. that was probably Potter. Sorry, yeah, Potter. I mean, but like I see a piece of poop in the urinal and I go, all right, two things happened here. Um, one, uh, some dude rushed in, stalls were full, right? Took matters into his own hands. He's like, I, uh, I just need to make this happen. Or there's a new type of fella out there. I feel like that we don't have all the info on that we'd like. And he's pooping out of his penis. Yeah. No. And if that's the case, that's fucking hot. That's hot. But let's put global warming on the back burner. Yeah. Track down these right. penis poopers. <laughs> we need to solve the shit. Pooping. Get the owls on them. The dick pooping. <laughs> yeah. Dick. Would you at, like how what would have to happen for you to make mm-hmm. that happen? Like poop stalls, out of your dick. Poop out of your dick. We'll put a pin in that. But just oh. poop in the urinal. Oh, I, I would you rather hold on? <laughs> That's a great dude. Would you rather's? By the way, how come there isn't some game show hosted by Seacrest just straight up called Would You Rather? I know this I game know. is timeless. You can play okay. it when you're ten. You can. But hold on. Yeah. Apropos of what you were just saying. Yeah, pooping out of your dick. Would you rather poop out of your dick or Mary from Julia our, Roberts? For our famous. Um, you just there's a sample in the call you we did whatever. Yeah. Would you rather come out of your mouth, <laughs> or poop oh. out of your dick, or poop out of your dick? This is the million dollar oh, question. Oh, oh. I know. <sighs> like so, it's actually what would you rather? <laughs> 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 because that's gonna be all up in your grill. Pooping out of your dick <laughs> seems like the most painful thing of all time. Well, let's no. It's gonna come out soft. It's just gonna take longer. Yeah, You're but gonna be also. Like, is it gonna? Oh. So and we're assuming like, though it's not going to break the uh, the seal, right? It's just going to make its way out comfortably. But it's like toothpaste, so right? No, hold on, it well, won't. Oh, no, you're right. It could, you're saying like you could tear your dick hole. Yeah, man. Yeah, I never. No, thought No, but of what that. if your dick hole was, or was your like dick designed? What if your dick hole was designed oh. like your butthole so that it it accommodates the brown coming out? Oh, man. For sure. It's like a this but- an episode on Oprah. Didn't we just? Didn't we? <laughs> isn't this episode T-Bone? Have you somewhere? ever done that where you take the the metal the long metal pen and you shove it in your dick hole? <laughs> Yeah, but like on like my like on like birth yeah birthdays and stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sounding, it's called sounding, sounding. That's right. <laughs> wait, take the wait the metal what? Yeah, can you in your pull urethra. Up? You put it in your urethra. No, can you pull it up without? Please a don't cath- pull it up. A, a catheter. Please pull it up. It's yeah, not we a cap. This up for Dr. Drew's, it's sounding. Uh, you is there some sort of weird right. urethra fetishes out there? Yes, oh, yes. that's what it is. Yes. And you put way, it in your dick hole, and then you. Jerk I once off. Uh, got served at Roscoe's by a urethra fetish, and she was so sweet. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Those go in your dick Those hole. go in your dick No, hole. they don't. Yes, they on do. purpose? They do. Yes. <laughs> Wait a minute. Those are nails. Yeah. And forks. <laughs> they, uh, uh, did the forks just come up? Yo, dude. Yeah. You, I don't know the amount of money. You know how guys used to play the game like, you suck a dick for a million dollars? Dude, yes, would you put that. a penis beads? Look penis beads? Uh, look how long it is, too. Look how long it is. Huh. Okay, dude. Would you rather... Penis beads or butt plugs? Oh, fucking worst, worst party, party favor. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I thought you were asking me which. I'd be like, just put them all. What in gets there. you kicked out of the cul-de-sac quicker if you give these out on Halloween to kids? <laughs> Holy penis shit! Penis beads or butt plugs? Uh, penis, penis beads. beads. Yeah. Penis beads. <laughs> so there's some families that are like the butt plugs. The Look, butt we've plugs. all seen those. <laughs> <laughs> butt plugs. Penis okay. beads. What are you an animal? <clears throat> or you either doing penis beads <clears throat> or coming out of your mouth? 
I mean, I come out of my mouth all over you. That's what I would do. Yeah. Also, like that's. I go ah. And yeah, that imagine. seems fun. I've had come in my mouth. It's not that big of a deal. Okay. So it's coming not, huh? out of your mouth is not that big of a deal. Would what you do would the? You would, do, you, Adam? would you come out of your mouth drool style? Like uh. <laughs> no, I see. Or you go ah 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 and like rapid fire. Probably rapid fire. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. I'd go for a distance. Like, you know those clowns at like Disneyland, like that you shoot those, like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the old style, like, yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Wait, so you're choosing to come out of your mouth or do. I don't want to put those beads. penis beads. That just seems awful. That sounds really bad. I like yeah. Painful. Painful. Go yeah. about butt plug. We put a butt plug in? Or penis beads. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, you take me to the Cheesecake Factory, you'll yeah. pretty much do anything. Let's say the script soup had a nice day at work. <laughs> <laughs> do the she butt plug. That's got to be... A butt plug, Is it? do you think that's like, you know, two two months, two years? Like, where in the relationship? Or do you think that's just oh, like... Oh, off the bat. Is that a deal breaker for some people? Yeah, uh, for yeah, some. For but, you know, like, there's... Here's the thing. I feel like if... Let's say you're like, I live by the butt plug. You're not busting that out on date one, right? You can't. Date one? No, no. you have to. I would he was disagree. Like, I, put my, I was told to put my cards on the table. This is who I, I am. Would I would say you much. lead with what your inclin- your proclivities like, are. On. No, you do, it at, you do it at dinner before you fuck and be like, I'm kind of into it, but you don't have to do it right away. And then you, you, you know what I'm saying? You see how she reacts and then you slowly. Because it is fun to get like flirty and kind of sexual, like, you know, date one or two, but like, you know, yeah, but you can, you can hold back on all your stuff. Like, especially <laughs> yeah. saying, if you have an extreme, like if you're really in this, if you're like, you know, if you put this fire thing in my dick Uh-oh. and then you, you know, you piss on me as a, like, you're going to bring that up date one. No, you're going to, you're going to hold on uh, to it. Josh for a Potter disagrees and he has some intel. Come uh, on. Okay. All right. Let's There's probably a fun way. Maybe you drop the butt plug like out of your backpack yeah and on yeah. the floor oh and then my you, go, God. you go oh geez you're i'm so back. embarrassed and then you go right you, you wait for her to be like <laughs> yeah that's good yeah that works and then she's like oh what's is that a butt plug and you go yeah it's like just, let's uh let's see what our well here's uh, the deal resident probation officer fucking has to say here <laughs> yeah, go ahead. here's the deal if you're a butt plug person mm-hmm. <laughs> meaning you're into the scene you're There's a scene you're presenting that pretty early on yeah? yeah? Yeah, that's what I say. I've yeah. had nudes where that was the first nude sent to me. Really? Is butt yes. Plug. Is a butt Straight plug? to butt plug. Wait, she sent a pic <laughs> with the plug in? Yes. Wow. Yeah, but see, here's... This, this is not a... What was the caption? Thing that, is, that is not backing up <laughs> yeah. the other side of the argument. Because what you're talking about is a fucking pig person no, 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 sending no. a photo <laughs> of something in their asshole. <laughs> That's I'm talking about going on a date pig with a person. human Oh, being. you wouldn't go on a date with a cool girl that had a butt plug in her ass bef- the first time you see her? I mean, no. Jesus. You're well, a monster. Yeah. I guess that just tells what kind of person you yeah, are. That, yeah, that fucking sure does. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. Yeah. That pig can come over and get it and put her head in the toilet and all that shit. But <laughs> I'm talking about... Like so a date, when yeah. You ask someone out. If a girl yeah. sends me a photo of a butt plug inside of her, yeah. first thing that w- I say, the next thing I ask is, uh, I just got to check with my mom and see when you can come over for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. I get that. But see, yeah. I guess I'm thinking date more into like I'm thinking of. I'm talking about more like you're meeting somebody and maybe this will go somewhere. Yeah. yeah. That to me is like just smash city. Like you're just like, yeah. Oh, you're talking about plug. a proper courtship. Yeah. She's yeah. I'm talking about material. Re- relationship material where like you have your own kink, but you're not God. busting it out out of the gate is what no. I'm saying. Also, where do you go from butt plug? Yeah. Butt like, are you going from advanced. like, if butt plug is, butt plug is kind first of advanced. Base. Yeah. That's What's kind that? Of, that's kind of advanced. Yeah. yeah that, that's not JV squads. But <laughs> here's a deal, man. Let's say you guys really like each other and she, you're into each other and it's a month or two months she in. She takes that butt plug and, and puts it then, in your mouth. Oh, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then you bring up the Good butt morning. plug and then she's like, Dude, no, that's a deal breaker for me. You should have yeah, brought no, this you're shit right. up two months ago. But now see, I like you. I'm I don't with do you that. that two months would be too much. But if you're going if you're going through a regular courtship, and I'm not talking about where it starts with the here's a fucking photo of, of something up my ass, but if like <laughs> if you meet somebody, yeah, more of a, and you're more like, of a what's your favorite color? Let's have drinks. Let's have dinner. Let's say <laughs> you 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 make out on one. Maybe you hook up on the third. You're grown ups. Yeah. You but like yeah, you would start then showing your cards about things you like. You wouldn't wait two months to be like, I've been holding back on this the whole time. But you can still do it in a gradual way, right? You're not. I would say after you bust that first nut, yeah, you're you've done it. You've bro- normal. You guys have done normie sex, uh-huh. and then you're kind of out in the afterglow, 
And you, well, what are you into? What are you into? And that's when you can introduce it at that first. Like, that's when they go like, what do you like? And you got to go everything. Yeah. <laughs> no, everything specific. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. All of it. All of it. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Or just have like a basket of toys. You know, at the base of the bed. And here's the other thing: though. you're not a kid. Used? You know what I mean? No woman wants to. Oh, new. Used? No, they're a bunch new. of oh. gift certificates, maybe. He, he's like every girl that comes over gets her own. You know? Yeah. So Can you I get... tell you? I had a friend, a female friend, who had just a box of just dill, just like dill. Just sitting out yeah. like a like a bowl of fishy crackers. And she would use them on the dudes. <laughs> she use them on on dudes. Yeah. Oh no, no, I'd be not like, not a fan of that. You can get the new stuff for me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. So I would not, love to follow. Wouldn't you love to be a fly on the wall and follow Josh on a date? I would love to know oh what his God. Dude, I'd love to be an owl in a tree and follow Josh on a date. <laughs> That's See, the best view, man. Because from up, from up top, swoop down, maybe grab one of those toys. But you, you know what's brilliant about Josh's whole game? Right? Yeah, is that he's not he's not a blatant creeper. Like he's right. not a douchebag. Like he's got the sweet thing to him so the girl ends up being the aggressor is what i'm guessing happens is mm. that accurate josh the woman is usually the aggressor yeah thumbs yep. up. See. and then when she shows her true colors do you kind of meet her halfway and kind of up your aggressiveness i mean i like a good aggressive girl right it's yeah. like my yeah. cup of tea so, <laughs> so she's giving you the back rub yeah yeah <laughs> i'm into that she's putting I don't, her foot in your mouth I'm not into pain. I'm more into well, no, just attitude. like aggressive. Yeah. You like an aggressive lady. Yeah. He's not yeah. the aggressor. You like aggressive, like her to hold the door for you. Exactly. Yeah. I want to be corded all and, doted on. And you're the princess that you know you are. That's exactly <laughs> true. That's exactly right. Okay. <laughs> He's the. Oh. Jesus. That sounded terrible. Oh, shit. We lost a mic. We lost a mic? Yeah. We'll all let right. Blue Band replace his microphone. Okay. I could see that about Josh, that he's more, he's sweet. He, some guys need to have a bitch take over and you know, dominate he, them. Yeah. He's sweet, but he's waiting for you to step it up. That's really what's going on. What do you, you know mean? what I mean? He's waiting. Like, he's polite. He has good um, manners. And he's, yeah. he's, but what's going to happen is, like, you're the girl, and he's like, oh, okay, this is, this is what I'm getting out of you. That's yeah. fine. But he's not actually satisfied until... You know, your hands are around his neck. You're fucking. Is that right? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're grabbing. You're really? Pulling his nuts. Yeah, put his head to the wall. Give him a little smack. Yeah, that's yeah. what he. I didn't know that. He's deviant? He wants, yeah, for sure. And I he didn't wants know you that. to go into six gear, you know? That's yeah, what I'm he saying. says shit that he doesn't totally mean, but he kind of does. Like, rip my teeth out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Use the N word. Yeah. Use the N word, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, right. what do you, he's like, can I ask you a funny question? <laughs> 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 now, who do you think is um, more likely to introduce? Uh, a BP uh, in a relationship. What's a B oh, butt plug? Yeah. Who's uh, more likely? Yeah. Travolta or Kelly Preston? Travolta. Travolta, yeah. yeah for sure, right? For sure. Yeah, he's that, a, guy yeah, was, I mean, that guy was... That guy is doing some weird shit now. <laughs> You've seen his social Dude, media Dude, I can't believe that it's taken him this long to get on. And the fact that you guys have, again, at been at the uh, you know precipice of, of this... Thank you for crediting us. Oh, for a thousand percent. Thank Stare, you. Look at those eyes, man. Dead. Stare at and this is the type of guy that I feel like, I mean, thanks for all the comments and <laughs> for everything you say. And That's perfect. Can I tell you something? I watched his, I went through after I saw, you know, and just everybody you just here at the Bombardier <laughs> Learjet party. <laughs> yeah. We're having a Learjet party. There's a boat in a jet and we're going to, we're going to enjoy all the festivities. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I hi. went down a Travolta rabbit hole. And um, before the owl took it, and I, <laughs> I watched so many videos. I watched the birthday party one. He was like, here at my birthday party. Yeah. And just, and, hey, guys, say hi. And uh, no joke, had a dream that I was at his party the next night. Oh, really? And how I don't it? dream. <clears throat> I just started smoking pot again to try to fall asleep. And, um, man, I had a crazy full-on, probably 10 to 15-minute dream that I was at that birthday party that I watched on Instagram that he was wow. like, yeah. Was it? Did he have a Learjet party? Is that what he did? Yeah. Like one of them was like it was like a, or it was an uh, yeah it, or it was an award. I respect thing or, that. Yeah. One of my buddies was his um, uh, private jet uh, pilot for a long time. Really? Really? Maybe I should get him in, in here for you. And Fuck yeah! Stories. <laughs> He's like, oh, John would bust out butt plugs on every flight. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't fly without it. Yeah, dude. That is kind. Of, I mean, it, uh, now that you mentioned it, like it kind of, it, it'd be kind of a turn on if you pulled out a butt plug and you're like, I'm going to call you the N word. And, and then you just started like 
using it? Yeah. Why? In the heat of the moment, I think anything goes, you know? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> that could backfire so badly for so yeah. many people. Like, I wait, guess. what? I can't do a butt plug. Especially because they're some of them are real big, right? They spread out your you I mean some of them are like small. That eh? day. Yeah. And some of them are like <laughs> Yeah, By the way, I'm, there's going to be so many ads popping up on our social media feeds for butt plugs after this oh, discussion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because right, you start uh, off kind of small and then you work your God. way. Look at, yeah, look who you can work up to there. Yeah. And see, so you got to gotta tip your hat. Uh, for the your, real vets. Look your at sphincter that. sphincter to the guys who ah, create. That one there, the blue, uh, the Trinity. No, to the. The Trinity. <laughs> le- right, down, down one, to the right. Look at those. I mean, how the fucking trinity. big is that? How yeah, dude. What are you that? trying to? Are you you seriously want to put that in your butt? Doctor Drew said you shouldn't. <laughs> you should not. He said you shouldn't prolapse your anus. What mm. were his? Uh, he said it should be this big only, the size of an OK. When you make the OK symbol <laughs> with your hand, that's because how that's big. about as big as that you should put in your ass. Damn. Which is basically like a log. Yeah. You know. It's caca. Yeah. This is that that far one to the left looks like it's trying to. Uh, that's bigger than OK. Get back at somebody. That looks yeah. like a high school bully. Yeah, <laughs> that's Dustin Brody. Yeah. yeah, Tommy, how much for you to do it to get the big one in? No, I, we can't. Start how long would it take, or how much advanced? would it? Advanced, like money. No. Okay, private jet. I'm buying it for you. But yeah, you all right, I'll it. do it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying, you know, if you were going into butt plugs for the first time, you'd want to start with like the fucking Bro, junior. I have edition. To, yeah, you work I, your way up. You go to the give, me, pool, give me the one you, they give to toddlers. You know, give right. me like the little one. <laughs> I have to tell you that of all the sexual stuff, this is the least turn turn on for me. It's putting anything in my rectum. I gotta tell you, rectum. I'm a big fan of those rings, though. On that one, Real. what is, the is that ring for you to hold on to? Yeah, and you can pull that out. See, or is that smart. to attach to the jet ski? <laughs> <laughs> that is smart. <laughs> that way, it doesn't get lost up in there. You know? Oh, is that what that's yeah, for, dude? And then, boop, pull that right out. Like you're starting a lawnmower. Look at that one. That's that a good called grip. the anchor. That's the anchor's a... smart. See, I would do the. It's called the Doc Johnson. <clears throat> <laughs> the, the, the mood is naughty. Oh, that one's like a... Oof. Oof. Dude, imagine mean? if you had all four up in you. <laughs> what imagine. What that would feel like. You can. I'm Someone's guessing. got to have. Someone's doing Someone, it right Would you now. let me try that on you? No. No. Some of these porn stars that win like no. best anal and stuff. Yeah. Like, is it like what... You know, I'm always curious, what is that... Uh, what comes with that award? What do they do to... Like, for me, I'm like, yeah, dude, if you got all four of those in you in one scene... That's even the if best. the scene was like shitty dialogue and the lighting was bad... You give her the award. You give her the award. Because of what she took, you know? Yeah. yeah. But is it best anal because, like, she was one of the hot, like, she was, like, That's, the Nicole Kidman of porn stars, and the guy, like, you know, they, they, you know, he did it. In a, what's the Sennheiser doing there? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually an industry term. Sometimes these things no are called butt No fucking plugs. way. Really? What? I've heard it called a butt plug on set before. Oh, really? When? When you worked in porn? No. <laughs> <laughs> they call that a, a, a butt plug? Yeah, and there's there's like all sorts of weird names for certain shit. Like there's a baby plug for like you could say some really weird sentences when you're on set. Hmm. Yeah. How does he know so much about I don't set know. life? Okay. I mean, he's on set. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Watching all kinds of weird. Shit? Yeah, he's watching porn all day. All day. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I mean, you edit our clips. This show. What that's do you true, think? Yeah. Hmm? I have to say the only way I would put any of that stuff in my butt is if if somebody was like hundred and fifty dollars. I will. Yep. Yeah. Two fifty. Nice Two fifty. Anna Carl's Jr. Western bacon cheeseburger, extra barbecue sauce. No, you I. Put, well, you put that in your ass. If somebody were to threaten my children's lives, this is the only way you put I it, would yeah. do this. This is the only way. The Give only me all your way. money, or your kids are gonna die. Money, no. sure. Take my money. Put this yeah. in your butt. Put this your in your cho- butt. Yeah, there you go. For sure. Yeah. 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 All five of them at once to save my our children. Okay. Is that a, a doorknob? When are you gonna tell really them? Really interesting scenario. <laughs> when are you gonna tell them that? By the way. They're gonna watch like they're this. like, you know, when they get to that angsty teenage, like, like you yeah. don't care about me. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, you don't yeah. think I'll push you to my butt to save your life? <laughs> <laughs> That's not, what? wait, what? That's not what I said. <laughs> I you said you wouldn't let me stay it. out late. No, I'm Five saying to bubbles. you, I, I would put things, multiple things in my ass to save your life. Yeah. yeah. Tell me what, <laughs> what friends of yours have mothers that would go to, to that length. That's right. Butthole. 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 It's a butthole song. How many good songs out there are about buttholes? You know, there's got to be all of them. Oh yeah, I don't know. Like some I mean, hidden, some hidden themes. You know, I mean, the, from the the '70s have to have some great metaphor songs. That's when Come like on. all the 
the real writing ended, I yeah. guess. But like, <laughs> Metaphor. You yeah, know what I mean? Gone. Where like it was always... Like, you know how Atlantis has that song about, you know, that supposedly is about Dave Coulier. Yeah. You ought to know. Yeah. That's was, about him? Yeah. Yeah. But they could it have been about Coulier's, butthole. you know, butthole. Wait, so what? That song's about him? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Did you ever go down on you in a theater? She blew him in a theater. Yep. Mm. That's the, the song is about Dave Coulier breaking her heart. True story. Wow. Yep. Mm-hmm. And Lionel Richie's Hello is about Bob Saget. Wow. <laughs> no, that's not true. Dude, you had to try to double down on the full house material. Hello. <laughs> What's this here? Um, uh, th- you know, because we're talking about putting foreign stuff up your butt. Here's a fun clip that's pre- Oh. Dude, oh. seriously, you need to be doing on. this? Yeah, I forgot he didn't even hear the butthole oh. song. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you didn't hear the butthole no, that's song. Right. My bad. You gotta right. wear your cans. Well, look at that fucking hair. You don't want to put no, fucking hair. No, he's got it. <laughs> Look at that goddamn <laughs> fucking hair. Doesn't he look like a young Travolta? You look like John Travolta. Oh, man, I played Danny Zuko in Greece my sophomore year of high school. Doesn't he, though? I course. quit football to do that. You mother. And guess what? My coach was not supportive. No. Did he call no. you the F-A-G word? He did. Were you there? <laughs> he did. I see, Yeah. He said, Tried good luck, uh, followed by that. <laughs> He's like, good <laughs> luck. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Is that serious? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Literally in his office. And I tried to make a joke because I was, yeah. you know, kind of funny guy and <clears throat> I would do impressions of him and stuff, and I was like, "Hey, coach, so uh, I've been thinking long and hard about it, but um, I'm not gonna be able to memorize the the playbook this year because I gotta memorize the lyrics to Grease Lightning." And he just paused and goes, "And then, yeah, deliver, seriously, deliver line, yeah." He said you. And you're, a, you you're a, fact. a sophomore. Yeah, sophomore. And I was gonna be like, you know, the senior offensive uh, lineman um, got injured, so I was gonna <clears throat> start varsity my sophomore year, and wow. I was getting pretty big. And, hey, and big fo- dude. football was you know fun, but not. I was gonna go pro. Did you, you know? go back? Junior, senior year, or no? No, that was it. And he was a basketball coach too, so he would, you know, if I fucked up a uh, something in practice, he'd be like, "Sorry, I don't have a script for this fucking play, Adam Ray." You know? Wow. Yeah, mm. just come at me. I mean, he was Damn, he was huh, ruthless. Man? He would make fun of the Indian kids for mission shots. What is Wait. it, fucking Ramadan? You Dude, know, he just really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he went in. One, he had one kid named Sonny. He had a turban on his head, and he's like. He's like, God damn it, Sonny. He's like, what the fuck is even a, what is a Sonny? What the fuck's a Sonny? You know? And his brother's name was Chunny. Sonny and Chunny? <laughs> yeah, dude. Wait, Aww. let's role play. Let's go back to you. Yeah. You're about to tell me. But he brought that... his kids to the matinee. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. But yeah, but just was just like let's looking go back. at me in makeup and a leather jacket. And he's just like, course. <laughs> okay. Like, like, yeah. You know. yeah. yeah. Let's go back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Adam. So with Stuart out, you're going to be uh, left guard and. Um, you just you know we're not we're gonna run basically mostly just kind of uh, eye formation. So I just need to know that you're ready. Um, yeah. Uh, wait. What? What? What are we? What, what's you're happening? You're telling me you're gonna go do the play. Oh, great. Okay. Go, go <clears throat> Set me up one more time. So uh, because I thought I was doing this Stewart's Ed out. Zuko for a minute. I was um, like, wait, what's the improv? No. <laughs> Stewart's out. We're not gonna run any shotgun formation. Just be all under center. But you need to be ready because big game Friday. Yeah, no, that's, yeah, home game too. So fired up about yeah, that. Like we haven't gotten, uh, we've been on, on the losing streak on the road. So I think when we get back home, yeah. that's when, uh, to have our fan base behind us. Well, I and, sure uh, fucking hope so. Yeah. Um, so I was talking to my, uh, you know, life is just like opportunities come when they come and, and you, uh, you know, being, what? Being 17, <laughs> being 17 is, uh, <clears throat> being 17 is crazy, man. I'm just like figuring out like. You doing drugs? No, no, but um, it feels like it though, because like the, what I'm feeling right just now. Just get ready to play. I was talking to my mom a couple of day, uh, days ago, and yeah. she was like, "Don't live your life to please other people." And I was like, right. "I feel like I'm doing that playing football right now." And um, <gasps> have you ever seen Grease Two with Michelle Pfeiffer? No, I missed that one. Well, there's a better one before that, <laughs> and our high school is doing the play version of it. And the so only what? other person auditioning, I was told by our director, uh, is uh, is an Asian kid named Danny Park. And I think I got a pretty good shot. What? Um, You're going to do a play? <laughs> and not play football? It's April Fool's. Yeah, it better be. Uh, no, it's uh, psych. <clears throat> yeah, I want to play, uh, play football, but, you know, like Madden and stuff. I'm like, this is just too... I'm going to play... Uh, good luck, fag. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude, that was real. That, pretty good? that was a true dart to the heart. That took me right back. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That was good, Tom. Yeah. That was really good, dude. Yeah. That really you rolled off your tongue. Coach. Thanks, man. Yeah. You I heard would. Saturday Night Lights. Dude, I, I remember uh, when we we asked if we, we had a bye week. 
And bisexual week. A bisexual week. <laughs> where, like everybody <laughs> fucked each other on the team. Okay. No, we had a bye week where, uh, oh, so there's no game, but you have, you still have practice, right? It's like your off week. You practice. There's no game. So you have basically two weeks Time to rehearse practice. for a game. Yeah. Right? Rehearsal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Game rehearsal. Game rehearsal. <laughs> and we were like, Coach, I can't make Pearl rehearsal. Jam, Pearl Jam was in town. No way. For, uh, for oh. the off week. So there's yeah. no game. So we're like, can we not go to practice tomorrow and then go see Pearl Jam? And that coach was like, mm-hmm yep is that what you want to do and we were like yeah he's like yeah absolutely hey man rock it out and we were like oh this is great what a cool coach man so the next the day after he just we had like a normal practice it was easy and then he took like the the seven of us and uh just made us run suicides for like with I mean, penis beads inside. Uh, I like to fucking in our dicks. <laughs> and then he stood at the 50 yard line. And uh, as we're like, like throwing up for real. Of course. He was, he was playing air guitar. He was like. Oh. Yeah, they're fucking crazy. Man. Did they play this one last night? Yeah. He's like. Fucking this is what you get. Yeah. Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, okay, oh, is yeah. that from Oh, yeah. 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 I some suicide. But, but the pussy. funny thing is you reminded me the theater, the drama guy knew that uh, I liked, you know, improv and acting. Yeah. He was like, you know what a lot of guys do? I remember he goes, you take a season off of football. Yeah. And you do this. Uh, do the musical, man. Yeah. Do the play. And I was like. Are you out of your fucking mind? Not because I wouldn't. I was like, you know that my dad might. Oh my god, murder! Oh really? Yeah. For sure. We've got He's a like, fuzzy you know the play, on your head. The musical Pippin was based on Scotty Pippin taking a year off of basketball. You know what's so funny? Uh, Sidebar: We were watching Locked Up Abroad, the new it. season. It's such a fucking good show. There was a guy on there, bald, 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 but he kept a bang, just like a, the very like a front. row of hair. One of the kids or one of the. Um, the guys who's it was a guy yeah it was who had been in prison right. for doing stuff it was the fully bald so bizarre but never like, seen that buzzed, before like bicked you know and then he kept a front just line. a bar of hair it was so weird what's his name that's what it looked like right there i don't remember yeah, he was something interesting Juni. Um, spent time in a mexican wait so what jail. is the clip oh we didn't even get to play it right what is this oh what is this put your cans on adam right well because we were talking about putting stuff up your butt yeah okay. oh this is a clip that's ready for that Okay, let's see. Put a rock. Dude, oh, seriously, do you need to be doing this? What are you doing? Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> Hello? Uh. What are you doing? Go away, lady. What are you doing? There's pe- there's little kids around here. What are you doing filming them? Seriously. So he's got a missing leg. Is he putting the prosthetic <laughs> limb up his ass? He sure is, Tom. Holy cow. Is he really? He's trying to. <laughs> By the way, he doesn't even want to watch himself do it. Is no, that what the towel's co- for? He covers his face. Or he knew somebody was, he's like, look, this is probably going to be a thing. Instagram worthy. <laughs> Someone's going to come by and want to take some I snapshots. I respect it because I've had those middle of, middle of the day urges where you're like, I just got to do it now. <laughs> you know? Yeah, but outside? Under outside, a freeway? Outside, on the side of the road. I take my leg off. Shouldn't there be more I, di- concern in her voice? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, yeah, if you had limbs to remove, God that'd be the first damn, one. dude. Now, no, I'm, I'm concerned why there's not more concern in her voice. She just sounds like she just what are you doing? Saw dude? somebody like push her kid off the slide. What are you doing with that? Um, that blur. It doesn't no. go there. I wish it wasn't there. Is there a way to digitally remove it? Uh, I don't have the unblurred version on this computer. Is um, where what site was this on? Uh, I forget. I think someone just emailed it to us. It might have just. This is oh, like an actual. This clip. is yeah. horrifying. Yeah, yeah, what yeah, part? It's terrible. <laughs> no, this has to be. I've seen so much shit on this show. This is hands down the most horrifying thing I've ever seen. Take us seen. through your thoughts. No thanks. Is it really? No. Why do you think it's so yeah, bad? Yeah, I just. What part of it? Do you think Seriously. this was a dare? This reminds me of living in San Francisco in the nineties. When you'd be walking down the street and you would just see like guys butt fucking or like <laughs> just outside of I swear it was wild. Yeah. It was in the wow. 90s. It was wild. Guys were just fucking each other. Just guys going, what's up to butt fuck? <laughs> yeah. Just on every corner. But you would see this in San Francisco. I feel like the fact like, that this guy's trying to be modest with the covering the face. I don't really know if it's, me. is it modesty? You know what I mean? Or, no, but he's, he's like, I don't want to be, a, I don't want to Maybe there's a part face. two and he's going to reveal his face. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> takes it off or it's like if you want me to stop you're gonna have to grab this towel off my face he's not even hard you think that he would he's probably got no eyes how do you know What's he's that? not hard how do you know he's not hard because i could tell 
<laughs> I know hard movements. What else has he got around there? Just some blankets and coats? What is that? I don't know. It's like something. Is that the end of a... Wait, is the other foot egg fake too? To his right? Is that a brace? Could be. Is that like... Because look at the... Well, it looks like one leg's gone. The other one's starting to go. <laughs> <laughs> but doesn't it look almost fake from the shin Yes, down? Tom. Yes. Thank you for pointing that and, out. And the foot looks real though. It does? This no, one? it doesn't look let's, real. Let's scroll back. Let's see a little movement. Let's <laughs> no, see what's going on. No, thank you. No, thank you. Can I be uh, honest? I thought the way his leg is up right now, I thought that was his face, like at, upon first glance. You know what he, I'm saying? <laughs> like where he looked like a duck. I think. With no eyes. Can you tell if that foot is real? Wait a minute. The one that's there? Guys, I don't think that's. Is oh, it, yeah, is he's that, moving a toe. Okay. Wait, is that his prosthetic limb he's fucking himself with, or is it the bike handle? I feel like oh. it looks like a bicycle handle. No, nah, it's a bike so handle. Can't tell. It, it's a fake leg. It, it, oh. Are you sure? I don't know. I thought it, was. it also looks like those things you control marionettes with. You know the. That's um, right. Mm, I'm looking at maybe he's got I a still it bike in handle because uh, you see a little ball movement there. You see the balls, and you can see. Yeah, and I keep going. There, there they are. <laughs> There they are. By the way, this reminds me of like those early... And I knew he wasn't hard and I was right. <laughs> Why did you blur... Did you blur this? This came to us. Yeah, I, no, I blurred it. I missed, I missed the ball. <laughs> What's the little... Is, what is that? Some soup in the back? Some chowder? What is that? <sighs> Do you know what city this is? San no. Francisco. No. I, I bet you my life. It's Berkeley or San Francisco. I think so. Berkeley. I'm going to... I'm gonna Chris, one, is this Berkeley? It's Northern California. Wait, wait. I'm going to one dollar all you and say Hermosa Beach. Whoa. <laughs> no. No, no, I, this is distinctly <laughs> no. Northern California. Yeah, this is right outside the Comedy Magic Club. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's how they get people in now. Uh, My thing guy. is, They're if like, you... Leno stopped coming on Sundays, <laughs> so we got this guy. <laughs> He's a but real he, but, but, draw. But, but strangely enough, he sounds like Leno when he does his stage. He's like, all right, so, um, <laughs> so here's something. You got the about this? Apparently, uh, uh, bike handles aren't supposed to go in your butthole, but we're going to prove that. Who wants to see a bike handle? Go, Kevin, you want to hear uh. So far up there. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the deal. If I saw this yeah. on the street corner, I would not confront him alone. No, with a you walk. This is walk by worthy. You no, just I keep... wouldn't walk by. I would just call the police. <laughs> you wouldn't even them. walk by to just like get a side view. You out know of how your, many like... guys I've seen you know jack their dicks in public? You just call the cops and let I would them do deal. the. Uh, I would be scared to approach oh like this. God. I can't look at. But this I would do the, um, the the from a distance thing. Like, hey man, <laughs> like one of those. <laughs> no, hey man, what's your distance? I think I'm at least just to feet. start it. I'm up, to start it. I'm at least 25 feet away. Yeah, that's solid. You know, and yeah. then I'm like, hey. And then you inch closer. If and then he, he's like, shut up, man. I'm yeah. like, what are we? What are you doing? Yeah. However, his voice sounds coming back to you is how much you go closer that's or further right. away. Because right. if he's like, what's going on, Tom Segura? And you go, oh shit, like, Jesus, you're a fan. And he's like, yeah, man, just saw your last show. And you're, and you're like, dude, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, instant family. It's about adoption, right? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. He's like, hey, can you give me a hand? I can't yeah. find the hole. <laughs> I'll He's got a shoe there. That's a real foot because you can see the kind of the. No, lines, I know, but you can see how, why I thought it lines. might not be. Yes, yes. You know yes. how he doesn't have one. <laughs> oh, there's the bike. There's yeah. the bike. No, yeah, there Wait we go. Wait a minute. Is, is there a, a handle? There's yeah. a bike. I think that is a bike handle. No, that's a scoot scoot. It's a scooter. It's a scoot scoot. It's his chair. Yeah. You know how people have the one legged scoot yeah. scoot when they have like a cast? That's the handle. He's going to no, put that's something the in. Handle. I thought it was one of those sprinter prosthetic legs. I got like you. The ones that bend. Yeah, no, I, I think so. He's on putting a, hand, it's a, it's he's a, putting a handle, handle in his asshole. Yeah. It's Either way, it's impressive. It's really cool. This guy's awesome. <laughs> yeah, this guy rules. <laughs> is this one of the cool can guys? Can we just hear the, I would follow this guy <laughs> on all social media Can I watch it again just because I want to hear the whole thing? Wait, is he a member of the cool guys club? Yeah. Look, I wouldn't let this guy babysit my nieces, but I'd let him speak at my wedding is what I'm trying to say. Dude, seriously, can you just be doing this? What are you doing? Do you need what to are be you doing? <laughs> do you need to be doing Hello? What are you doing? Go away, lady. <laughs> what are you doing? There's pe there's little kids around here. Well, that's a bike handle, uh, I think. Seriously. Oh, my God. Now there's a cool guy. <laughs> yeah. By the way, it would have been even cooler if he did that. Go away, lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go like away, Bill lady. <laughs> Go away, lady. It's such a classic line when you have something in your asshole, you know? I definitely want go away, lady, in the drops. Yeah, please. That's unbelievable, dude. I don't want that as my email alert. That's go away, it. lady. No. <laughs> He's not even angry. What are you doing? Hello? What are you doing? Go away, lady. Go, okay, so there's a little bit of anger in his voice. Yeah. You can hear the away, frustration lady. that he's having trouble with what he's doing, but he's also like, 
look, I was told this spot was going to be, uh, you know, uh, people walking by free. Like, he didn't expect somebody. It's amazing. Somebody Thanks. must have told him this street corner. Like, if you're going to put that or, shit in your butt, dude, do it over on. there. They, got, they put it in here. I, I didn't know it was here. Go away, lady. <laughs> <laughs> I might even guess Portland on this one. Oh, that's a great I might call. go Portland. There's yeah, a large that to the top of the list. homeless yeah. population. There is. A lot of them are on the streets. That red fire hydrant, it looks San Francisco, mm. could be Portland. Yeah. Yep. Definitely not. It's not a Midwest. This is a Also, this where is do a people West bike coast. a lot? You know, biking is a very... Portland, it's it's a San Francisco, activity. Berkeley. Berkeley. I'm going to go... Seattle even. I'm going to throw my hometown Oh, yeah. This. Too sunny. is sunny day. We yeah. get some sun. I was there this weekend. Yeah, it was could beautiful. Be, could okay. be springtime. Beautiful. Could be Seattle. Oh, wait, lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a we got a lot of bombs. However, too. he is wearing yeah he's wearing the coat like a winter jacket. Mm-hmm. Is it so? It is a is it Eddie Bauer or North Face? You know, right? That's right. That's how you can tell. Big so diff. You, yeah, big diff. <laughs> this guy's Patagonia. He's set. <laughs> he's just on a break. One of He works at Microsoft. Patagonia do the yeah. penis beads. You know, yeah, they don't all fuck with bike handles. He works at Microsoft. For sure. Rick is like, I write code. I'm just taking a break. <laughs> How are your shows in Seattle? Great? Great. Fuck yeah, dude. They were great. That was, that was awesome. Man. Yeah. This is how I unwind. <laughs> yeah. And it's a stressful job. <laughs> I would love... What? Those stories do always get a little cooler if that guy does have like a legit profession. Oh, and yeah. he's just like, uh, oh, okay. Some people go swim laps at the Y. <laughs> yeah. Some people sit in their back patio, read some haikus. Oh, oh, maybe I want to go under the overpass and do this yeah. and do this. And like you're judging what I do. And like you're, you're, you're ridiculing him. Your husband like, left you, Diane. And you're like, judging what I do. They go like, <laughs> go you're away, like, lady. You like your new, uh, your new iPhone. And you're like, yeah, they're like, that's who fucking designed that <laughs> iPhone. That guy. <laughs> This, this Carl. Yeah. Do you know? Do you not want to be able to take pictures of you, at your kid's birthday party like, with what? such high pixelation? <laughs> it's him. Let this guy. You know. <laughs> that's that's the guy running Microsoft. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Imagine it. <laughs> now, is this Sunday for him? And is he going in Monday? What's yeah, his, yeah. What's exactly. his water cooler he's talk like? like? You know, he did. He just did his scoot scoot uh, to get exercise. Yeah. And then he's like relaxing. And he's he's like, like, oh, okay. Like, so <laughs> this wasn't in the cards for the day. This wasn't on the agenda. He laid down having a post scoot. <laughs> yeah. Right. He's, he's like, laying down. He's like, bah. he's like, carpe oh. diem. It's a yeah. nice day. Yeah. And how much time goes by before he's just like, wink, wink, wink. Yeah. Go away, lady. Yeah. He just doesn't want to get spotted. Uh, yeah. but Who was he really bothering there? <laughs> Nobody. Nobody. But that is interesting that he covers his own head, yeah. but not his <laughs> butthole, <laughs> which you think would be the logical place to cover. If she saw the butthole covered, she probably would have left him alone. Like, oh, he's yeah. masturbating. Yeah. End of, like, leaving Because also you don't want to look somebody in the eyes when you see, like, you know. But why not cover the cock and balls yeah. in the butthole? That should be the yeah. first thing yeah. to cover. Interesting choice. Maybe he only had one blanket. Maybe he's maybe he's more ashamed of his skin <sighs> and the way his face was presenting that day. No, he's definitely the the guy, the president of Microsoft. <laughs> he's concealing That's his identity. Like, <laughs> cool, cool guy club. <laughs> oh shit! Oh man, yeah, he that was a definitely cool. cool guy. How was your weekend, Mike? That was good. Scooted around. I got <laughs> fucking arrested. What? For what? <laughs> right. Public goddamn indecency. There's no way, dude. Would you do? You take a piss? It's going to delay the new iPhone by at least a month. What? <laughs> but we're supposed to have it ready in three weeks. Well, you know, this fucking lady wouldn't go away. What? Right. Where were you? What, what did you do? I was did my little Sunday scooter ride, and then I was just having a juice, relaxing. <laughs> You know, I was sweating like crazy. <laughs> and I got worked up. You know how I get worked up? You do. Yeah. So yeah. I took How'd my you leg off and I put the, the scooter handle in my ass. For shit. Wait, what? Yeah. What? Why? Hey, man, we're going to need that new, that processor ready. <laughs> yeah. Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, for sure, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> and don't go crying to HR about this no, shit. No, 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 no. Hey, hey you, know, you know me. I'm cool, man. I'm yeah, cool. you're cool. You know what's great is that the guys that do cool guy stuff they yeah. are they have this righteous indignation for sure they do like <laughs> this dumb bitch doesn't understand why i want to f- i'm trying fuck to fuck my own come. asshole yeah. With yeah. A, a bike handle. yeah yeah stupid fucking bitch <laughs> women are fucking dumb it's definitely true. let me fuck my own butt on the street <laughs> right yeah how many people you think walked by before this lady 
took it upon herself. I, to I would. It. I'd easily be like, he goes, go away, lady. It sounded like this was the third person he had to scream at, where he was like, go, like, enough with the Jesus. You guys are acting like this doesn't happen outside. This Women is, yeah. are motherfucking <laughs> hating cunts. Yeah. There you go. That's Perfect the kind of example. guy who's like that. Was that like, Tony God. Robbins? <laughs> Tony Robbins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the, how he closed his full, last full, seminar. Full of yeah. shit, and they're stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. guy definitely yeah. thinks that, yes. for sure. He yeah. does yeah. creepy stuff and then gets mad. I don't understand why every woman's a fucking stupid idiot. God. <laughs> Why can't I just put a bicycle? <laughs> it's 2019 yeah. in my butt. I picked. I picked my spot on the road. Yeah. I'm not in your fucking yard. No, that's a great point. Actually, yeah. I'm not in your yard. I'm not in your yard. It's public property. Yeah. I'm on the side. Your Honor, I wasn't in her yard. It's the street. They're like there's kids. Over. I got a fucking hood over my head. I don't know. Who it. <laughs> I left those kids alone. Yeah. yeah. Right. In his I'm defense, he's concealing his identity. I took so. my leg off, so I couldn't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I clearly knew what I was doing. Yeah. I took my leg off. I, I wasn't making any noises. I, why not just leave um, the leg on? It was a silent uh, if insertion. If he's not using it. Yeah. I mean, what, I'm over it. I can't. Does he have multiple legs or did he put that one on knowing that it was okay. going to go I, on I, I can't. I don't know. That's For sure. Yeah. a good question too. All right. Cool guy. Cool. Um, uh, <laughs> you wouldn't masturbate on the street. Think about the highest level of horniness. Like you're 12. <sighs> Like, would you've masturbated on a bus? If you could, if, okay, if you get away with it, you're in Sounds the back row. Sounds like a weird Dr. Seuss rhyme. Masturbate on a bus. <laughs> would you masturbate in front of Gus? <laughs> you probably would. You'd cover would, it with a, your jacket and you'd probably. No, but I'd want to like, you know, look at somebody. You know what I mean? <laughs> like if, if you were like some lady on the bus, I'd be like. Oh, yeah. Right. That's what I mean. Yeah. If you knew you wouldn't get <laughs> caught, you like that? you'd probably have done you're that. You're like, oh, and are you, you in the back like, of the bus or are you doing it to the bus driver? Oh, that's a good question. Psst, hey, hey, <laughs> what? <laughs> like if you're the bus driver, I'd come up to the <laughs> next to you and yeah. you'd be like, hey, my stop's coming right up here. And you're like, oh my God. And you start <laughs> Crash swerving. The bus. Yeah. But what I wanted to say more importantly <laughs> is that I strongly consider doing it on a plane. Yeah. Which I think is an ideal situation, especially if you're flying in on those overnights. It's oh dark. Nobody's really the looking red at eye? you. Yeah. Oh. I've gotten a hand job on a plane. Yeah. Have you really? Yeah. I've, you know, I've heard other people say this. <sighs> it this was blows my mind. Awesome. And yeah, it was, I mean, I was in the middle seat. She was on the window and you better believe it. There was a dude to my left. No, there was not. Okay. Coach? There wasn't. What? Yeah, Wait, there was. What? Coach. Huh? You flew coach and you got a handy coach. Let's, let's find the plane. No, yeah, coach. Damn, homie. Wait, yeah. set up the whole thing. Yeah, Just, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, what time of day? I met this girl in college. Oh, oh, um, uh, midday. It's not a night flight. What? Yeah, and how man. long is the flight? Windows are up. Light is shining. What? God what? is awake. You're a savage. How long ago is <laughs> this? Times have changed, but yeah. it. Um, this was 2006. And you're dating this girl. Yeah. Okay. So you, this is your girlfriend. I, I just didn't know if it's like I, met I know on somebody. The plane. Oh, yeah. I know somebody cool. who did it. On, who met someone on the plane and got a handy on the on plane. the plane. Yes. And when they <sighs> left a famous the plane, person or a regular no, person, a regular person. And when they left <laughs> like the Bonnie plane, Hunt. he uh, deplaned, and she went into her uh, family, uh, her fiance's family. arms. Like, no. Yes. yes. No. Yes. But Psycho. Also, yeah. 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 She was like, wow. trying to wrap up all these feelings oh, <laughs> before I tie okay. the knot. Yeah. Okay, so, but anyway, so it's the yeah, middle so of the day. Yeah. So we covered up with a blanket, and I just kind of like turned like towards her. It was not the most comfortable hand job on a plane, but it's a hand job on a so plane. So you turn towards her, and like, is it her idea? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was just like, God, this TV's not working. She's like, you know, we could do. And I was like, get some more peanuts. And she's like, or. You know, and I was like, "Oh, now was it? Did, the, you just make that hand job in a plain face where it's like." Now wait a minute. Now she like is she like <laughs> between <laughs> strokes? So is she like, <laughs> like like making it, or she's like trying to be discreet about it? No, a, a lotion, a lotion. Yeah. Wait, Fuck. from her purse or something? No, for the we asked the guy next to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so no, wait no, a minute. No. Now were it's you like, yeah, no problem? Yeah. Was it hard to focus for you? Like, were you? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you know, like, there's Some that pressure there's to that. The, like, um, getting you know. Uh, uh, Roadhead is also crazy. That's yeah. been a long time, but that uh, that was way more difficult than the plane because the plane, it's like, you know, you you feel. I mean, it's kind of quiet. And I just felt like there was, I was able to zone out a lot easier and be like, nobody's looking at this. But um, when you came, you're like, huh, huh. oh, it was the most contained. Huh. Oh yeah, yeah, verbatim. Well, again, <laughs> were you the guy next to me? Because <laughs> that's what he did after. He was See, like, meh, meh. like, nice job. So you man. had to really like. 
Oh yeah, I'm it was. So, it was. I have so many questions. Yeah, First it was. It was really. I can only imagine. Like, you know, look, we're not making attractive faces when we're doing it, but like, yeah. if you're containing it on a plane, it was just all sorts of like. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. an actor. Stop it. You know, yeah. just like, you know. Okay, but here's the thing is Make that. Make a mess too, huh? Yeah. Blanky. You know, Sean Aston was in the Goonies. You know, I'm just saying. You know, yeah, 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 you, yeah. but you begok into the blanket. It was yeah. the plane's blanket, I'm assuming. Yeah. Then it was her special cum blanket. <laughs> that she her hand it's job one of the cum. prerequisites before we start dating. I go, look, at some point, <laughs> yeah. things are going to escalate. She's oh, like, yeah. butt plugs? I'm like, slow down. <laughs> <laughs> cum blanket. Cum blanket. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and um, Jeez. Wait, here's the but, crazy part. The yes, dude to my left. Um, yeah, on the way out, like, you know, we're, we're getting our bags and everything. And, uh, and he gets his bag down in front of me and then I just kind of get my stuff. And then it was just one of those like people like looking at each other on the plane and he just goes. Yeah. He, oh, yeah. Knew. Yeah. he yeah. knew. Of course. Of course he Cause knew. like, you know, like, yeah, like who's just yeah. in the middle seat is like. <clears throat> getting his yeah. jacket. And he feels the chair and he's like, Jesus. <laughs> well, and especially. <laughs> You can see in between chair. So the people behind you probably could Didn't see even think through that, that narrow slot. Till right now? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'd like to personally apologize to whoever was behind me. Do you remember that flight number? Oh, <laughs> boy. Like it was yesterday. 2652. I, I remember saying that as soon as I, just, I came. 2652. I, I heard all the Instagrams pop up just now of him getting his dick jacked. You know what I mean? All the photoshops oh, yeah. oh, of yeah, Adam yeah, Ray yeah. getting yeah. his dick jacked on a plane. It was Southwest. I know that. I what? knew it was Southwest. Duh. I yeah. knew Welcome it was Southwest. Welcome back to Southwest. duh. Dude. Yeah. What airline will allow that? I'm sure the flight Damn. attendants. We got to do that. It's on the hit list now. Okay. <laughs> Southwest. Southwest is so uh, cool. Southwest <laughs> hand job? I'll give you a hand job on a private jet. Why don't we just rent a jet and then I'll jerk I your dick. I love that. Yeah, it's right. way Dang. safer. That's you don't get arrested. Great, that's a great idea. You could fuck on your own jet, right? Yo, Is that it? Happy illegal? post Cinco so. de Mayo. You might want to give them a heads up. But yeah, <laughs> you probably you could. It's your fucking plan. Yeah, because those guys come back there. You can be like, hey, pilots, don't Dude, come back you know here. What you We're do? gonna fuck. I should holler at Brendan Yuri. And yeah, be like, yo, can I get a ride? He and on his G5? wife. Oh yeah, and then we're fucking well, doing us a key too, party. Us Sarah and Brandon. Then Brandon and I start fucking. It'll He's be crazy. into you. He thinks you're cute. <laughs> yeah. Somebody brings on a scooter. A scoot, down, scoot. Some handles in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wow. That's yeah, so. That's crazy. how that happens. Yeah. Huh. But then she ended up moving to Reno and fucking a camera guy, and so that. Oh. That but, happens. Yeah. That, that's camera guys are that's usually kind of got some swag. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> he did. Uh, you know what's so funny? I made a music video about that story. And I you did. Call, I wrote a song about it, and then did a cartoon music video. If you look up Adam Ray Reno Cheater, and I made this like video because it was just like a funny thing to that happened, like her like fucking the camera guy and all this thing. <laughs> and uh, then I, a friend of mine ends up working at this station later in life, oh, and yeah. she goes, "Hey, that video uh, got around the station. He still works here, and he uh, thinks it's hilarious." like this guy Jeff who she ended up you know fucking and I'm like of course he thinks it's hilarious yeah. like he's and at one point I was like yeah I was gonna post it on his Facebook page and like kind of like be like hey fuck you and she goes yeah I wouldn't do that he like was in Afghanistan for a little bit and he takes medicine because his blood's weird and I'm like fucking I don't know yeah. what that means but yeah. that means don't post anything on his Facebook wall his blood's weird no. what the fuck his blood's weird he's got <laughs> combat history he's like yeah, he's good <laughs> Yeah, we can keep our friendship. Um, mm. Adam Ray, the second album, Read the Room, is available now everywhere where music is available. You can buy it. You can download it. You, you can, can stream it. Put this Thanks, up your You can butt. take a fucking <laughs> handle of a scooter and put it up your ass. Um, and then you should also listen to his podcast yeah, that he does right. with the wonderful, hilarious and adorable. <laughs> he is adorable. Brad he is. Have you seen Brad in a, in a fedora? No. Uh, about last night. Yeah. Download it, subscribe, rate, review, and subscribe. Thank you. I have not seen him in a fedora. It's adorable. Is it? He says it's fedorable. But I'm Aww. like, oh boy, he's just like, he's got all sorts of dwarf catchphrases. Every, everything on a Brad. dwarf is adorable. It is. You know, except for no sense of humor. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's a t-shirt um, yeah. yeah so thanks man and congratulations Dude, thanks on the album you guys are the thanks best for coming, thanks for coming thanks for having me your mom's house will be right back it's amazing that it's taken this long um, to have this happen but this is uh, uh, a good guy uh, a great comic <laughs> a friend a I mean somebody we run into I've been running into you for over a decade um, you know, writer, you're a comedian, you're an actor, you do it all. Maz Jabrani, thank hey. you very much. Hey, hey. You're welcome. Thank Salome. you. Salome. Okay, okay. I'll Salome. Take that. Salome. That was Salome. a 
What we is used to get these. I used to get these strange voicemails because well, she I, got a new number. Not a number, and this oh. Persian lady would call and ask and think she was talking to Salome, and she would leave these long messages about squirrels and trees. Hilarious! And, yeah, amazing. Amazing. I get messages now once in a while. I don't know. It's it's some Asian language, so mm-hmm. I don't. I, we just moved near like a lot of Koreans, so I don't know if somehow mm-hmm. that figure. I have no idea how they figure. I don't know how they find you, the spam callers, but it's spam in another language. These oh. were amazing. Salome, she would call for Salome, and yeah. it, would leave, it would all be in Farsi, and then we would put it out there, and listeners would translate. They're like, yo, this lady's foul. <laughs> she's like an older lady, yeah. and she's saying, like, motherfucker. Oh, and that's beautiful. Crazy shit. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, she was fun. Hey, Salome. I stopped getting Salome calls. Last yeah, no. time she told her to she put finally plastic bags on the trees so that the squirrels don't, don't steal eat her fruit. the yeah. fruit. Oh, is that how you do it? That's what she said. Wow, I never thought, you know, we (laughs) tried in our old house, we tried to have peach trees Mm. and the damn squirrel would always eat it. Always. Mm. I wish I would have known about this plastic bag thing. Uh, No, you're Persian. If you had Salome, that's her number. Maybe she was trying to call me. (laughs) Hello, Maz, this is Salome. (laughs) Get the bags, get the bag. But I, I, I would think that that would somehow impede the growth of the fruit. I don't think it's a good solution. It's silliness. But this lady, she had, she would leave like, two minute voice you know the person that leaves like oh yeah, fucking yeah. oh yeah full bible yeah. verse yeah you're, you're like god yeah. damn well now i got on whatsapp people that don't want to type will do that voice message yeah and they'll leave it and, and it always starts with listen bro i didn't want to leave you i didn't want to text because i just wanted you to hear this and so um listen and then they keep going going and after a while i'm sorry it's a little long i literally i just <sighs> got one it says like four minutes i'm like i gotta listen to this whole Dude, thing i got one they where somebody call. told me all the things they want to talk about when we do get on the oh phone oh my god so I mean, like, hey, man, you know, I haven't talked to you in a minute. I wanted to ask you a couple things I wanted to talk about. First of all, I want to make sure everything's good at home. <laughs> Hilarious. Make sure you guys, the family's good, the kids are good. Like, what the fuck kind of messages? He's having this, his man? own conversation. Whole conversation, yeah. Have you guys ever had interviews where, I've had interviews now before where <laughs> someone say, okay, we're going to, you know, let's set up an interview, great. And then they'll send you the questions. And and for me, it's like, I'm not a politician. I don't need to, yeah. Yeah. you know, I don't need to vet out your questions. I mean, no, this is off ground. I, I'm like, the whole point is, ask me the question. Yeah. It's kind of like what your buddy did, which yeah. is to call you and just, give me the just, precursor. Yeah. yeah. Hilarious. Now, the advanced questions thing, and also how bad, like it stands out now how good a good interviewer is. Yes. And how bad, because most are not good. Yeah, yeah. And like all the questions, at this point, we've been doing, you know, this for a long time. Yeah. And they're like, hey, you want to do this press thing in Chicago? Okay. And then the guy's like, how long have you been doing stand-up? And you're like, oh, for fuck's I know. Mm, what can we expect from your act? Yeah. Where are people going to see at the show? And like, jokes. Yeah. Can you just Google this shit yeah. before we get started? I'm on the internet. You know, it's funny because you say that because I've actually been, I'm impressed when somebody has done that research. Yeah. And then they'll mm-hmm. say like, so you, uh, whatever, you grew up in Marin County. I go, ooh, you read about me. Yeah. yeah. This is good. It's exciting. Yeah, right? Well, you know what it shows? It shows interest. Yeah means that like you're if if the person asks you the standard questions you realize they're not interested yeah. in talking to you yeah. yeah and when they start digging up things you're like oh they're actually there is like curiosity is there well the and the opposite as in is is also true in that as stand ups we've done so much morning radio this that the other you start to learn okay i need to like you know this is this kind of interview so there's a morning radio right. so i need to i need to like have some punch lines. I yeah. can't dilly dally too long. I'm here for like two minutes. I got to get it out, right? Yeah. yeah. And then because I did a TV show, I was on a show in, I think it was 2004, and it was a bunch of young actors on it. And they had the Fox publicist come and talk to us to train us Mm-mm. how to answer questions. And a lot of it was like, you know, don't say anything controversial. Speak well about the show, like this whole yeah. Constance Wu thing that she just wanted to tweet. It's Man. like it's just that like that was wild. That's wild. It's like listen, I understand as someone who's been on sitcoms, like I know it can get boring, and I know that you like okay, you maybe you're not into it artistically, but you know what? Don't tweet it. Tell your buddies. Be like ah oh, shit. I don't know what happened. Tell me what happened because happen. I don't she, follow. listen. She's I'm an Instagrammer. I'm so not a Constance Wu Twitter. is on uh, fresh off the boat. I mean right, I don't watch right, it, but right. I just I just read the news. It was headlines and stuff. Yeah. So her fresh off the boat just got renewed for like season seven or whatever it is. She was also in uh, Crazy Rich Asians, which oh, I saw love. parts of. I didn't see the whole thing, but I guess she's you know her career's taken off. She's doing great. I don't know her that well. But uh, supposedly once it got <laughs> renewed, the news came out like, you know, fresh out the boat, renewed. And then she commented, oh, shit, or something like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then, But more. More. Then, then it, it was kept like, going. Hilarious. Then it was like, 
this is the worst fucking day. Like, yeah. this is the worst news. Yeah. And then, like, on <laughs> in, then she, that was on Twitter. And then on Instagram, they're like, uh, this is great news. And she wrote, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. Yeah. And, then, and then people came at her like, well, you, you know, you're so ungrateful, this and that. Then she wrote a letter saying, you guys are totally misconstruing what yeah. I'm saying. That's, by the way, that's the part that is like, grabs you more. Yeah. That you're just going to be like, just say you know what, this shit's super restrictive. And well, not- well, but the other thing though, she kind of tried to say, but in saying it, she had a lot of like, it, it basically dissed fresh off the book because she was like, you know, I, I, you guys don't understand. It was because of my reaction. I had another project that I was really excited about. Don't get me wrong. I love Fresh Off the Boat, but just like a challenge. And this is really easy and it's too easy. And now she's kind of like dissing Fresh Off the Boat. And then she ended this letter. I've been seeing the covers of it again. It's like she ended the letter with like, you guys got to listen to women or something like that and brought in like the me too. So people were like, what? It's it's just, it's at some point, it's just like, like, again, the the reason I even got into this was just like the training that you get from publicists to say, Mm -hmm. just be careful what you say. So again, I understand the frustration as an actor of being on a show that you're like, Oh God, this is just dude dumb. Of course. And we all know, like, you know, I've had a bunch of friends in your position where you're like, it was coming back. It's like, it's a job, but like, it's not that fun. Yeah. It's like, it feels like the same shit. And yeah. you know, it's not exciting. It's yeah. not fulfilling, but yeah. at the same time, it's, you know. And you sound ungrateful, job, right? but yeah. but you know what you got to do is I think again, like I said, it, it's not like. You text your buddy that. Text right? your buddy or just tell your wife or husband or whatever is you'd be like, ah, oh, shit, you know. Because no. part of it, by the way, is she's probably getting paid, I don't know, 100 grand an episode or something. I know. So a lot of people are like, come on, man. Yeah, that's the that's the part. Shut the fuck up and take the paycheck, sweetie. Yeah. Like You're the, really lucky. The way I break it down is like, first of all, it's really hard on a multicam to feel artistically fulfilled because multicam especially nowadays back in the day there was one or two here that were really like oh wow we're saying something but nowadays it's really hard and and but the way i look at it i go first of all especially if you got a family it's it's the hours are easy as an actor right yeah the money's great and so get the money do the hours the people especially if you got pleasant people you don't have some like crazy showrunner or something and then go off and do your one woman show or whatever it is you need to do when the season wraps the season wraps you, you know you yeah. got the money just put on a woman get constance Wu. this you know this yes. friday they at the amundsen center they literally announced you get another million plus yeah. dollars oh, yes. Fuck. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> like, well, and on. especially because that's hitting lightning in a bottle yes on in our industry if you're on a show that gets renewed for eight seasons especially now yeah now, now, it's more rare it's yeah. impossible now you're, you're talking syndication money yeah right now yeah. we're into syndication so yeah. now you're going to get a paycheck for the rest of your life yeah Shut the fuck up, bitch. Listen, I've Take also the money. I've also run into like Kills I did a, me. I did a guest star on fuck Grey's, is wrong with you? I did a guest star on Grey's Anatomy and like their schedule is crazy. I guess they do like 22 or 24 episodes or something. Oh boy. And one of the guys single on there, cam, though. single cam. Yeah. Oh, so and one that's of the like guys, shooting a movie every week. Yeah, and he was he told me he was like, "Listen, man, I'm I work like 9 months a year. He's making great money." Yeah. But he goes, "A lot of people will ask me to go, "Why don't you do a movie when you're off?" He goes, "Because I've just finished 9 months of crazy yeah. hours." Yeah. But still, listen, man, it's still, he's making good money. Yeah. And he seemed to be like, I, you know. I couldn't believe, I, I just I just had a small part in a movie. Yeah. Where one of the main actors shoots a show in Atlanta. And, he, and I was like, oh, like, how long are you there? He's like, nine months of the year. Yeah. You live there nine months? Crazy. And right now is his time off. He's doing this movie. Yeah. And then goes back and shoots there. I'm like, you live in Atlanta. Meanwhile, there's somebody listening here on, on our show who's like, I work on an oil rig in yeah. Alaska. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I well, that always I get less than not a million, million dollars. dollars. Listen, I always put that like whenever I hear any comedian or anybody like get an attitude, I go, dude, you know, you're not saving lives. No, right, you're, you're doing not, nothing. You're just, you know, I, I mean, because look, I'll be honest with you. I, recently touring especially with a, with with my kids and my family like I've gotten there's been times where I've been at a in a city and going like god I just I, I wish I were home I really don't want to yeah. be here right now and then I'll be honest once I get on that stage for that hour that I'm on I really am like okay this is I love doing it I'm in yes. it I'm in the moment but then I again I pinched myself and I go I go dude you know how lucky you are even in this business forget the oil rig we have actor friends who when the show is done they're done. They got to wait for the next show or yeah. the next no, movie. Oh, that's yeah. crazy. That's crazy. Happened to, to a just good, wait. good friend of ours was on like a big show. And then a few months later was saying, you know, I don't know how I'm gonna pay my bills pretty soon. It's depressing. They yeah. get depressed. Like they got to drive Uber or they got to do something else. And it's like, of course. 
what the, and I was telling my wife, I go, you know how lucky I am to have like 20 years ago said, I love doing this. I don't mind hanging out till two in the morning at the comedy store. Yeah. This is fun. And it still is, by the way. Like last night I did, uh, I did that goddamn comedy jam. Have you yeah. guys done that? Yes, yeah, Josh's, right? Josh's, yeah. yeah. It's so much fun. And just coming out of it and saying bye to everybody, that, you know, what's that? Sorry. Somebody, sounds like a, uh, is it a toy? Sounds like you're decompressing some air out of something gone stop what the heck was that i've that never was, we've never heard that. never heard that it's one. all good so all right are we rolling we're still rolling yep okay all right so that was a fun technical thing um yeah why don't you share with my because okay. first you got to tell them what your revelation was okay a few okay, weeks okay. Ago. yeah now so i started doing this thing for 42 years of my life i get out of the shower and i just put like a towel around me under my armpits uh -huh. and then I pat, pat, pat. And then I just, that's it. I'm mostly wet. My shoulders are wet. My legs are still kind of wet. Uh -huh. It gets dressed like that. And then I'll go oh. put clothing on that way. And for years it would infuriate me until I just one day had a revelation like, oh, I can dry my whole body off. And then I've been doing that now for all like your three reactions weeks. are correct. Everything you're thinking <laughs> and feeling. Is yeah. Right. So I'm just wondering, like, what, what, it took 42 years for you to realize you can get the shoulders and the legs. Yeah. And I just, but I, but it's a thing where I was, it just, it never occurred to me. I was kind of in a hurry. I'm, I'm hassled. Oh, and by also, it. also, it bothered her immensely that yeah. she was damp and wet. It bothered yeah, because that's the worst thing when you're putting on yeah. a shirt and it's sticking to it's your wet. and you're all wet Hate and it. wet socks. Yeah. Socks. Oh no. She would put Anger. on wet socks. Really. Pilates pants, like oh. it. Oh, I was so annoyed. So anyway, I had this revelation right yesterday. Now he's like, I'm sitting here with a fucking serial <laughs> killer. So this is, no, this is like a, this is a therapy yeah. thing. I like it. It is this. okay. It is. You find out why. What was it? Well, that's the thing. I haven't brought this up yet, but maybe you could. So here, I'm going to give you another, a newer example, and yeah. maybe you can, if you have an example, you okay. can share with okay. me because you're an immigrant, like sure. I am. I feel it has something to do with my immigrant nature but you discover things that your parents did and you go oh that's why i'm doing this perhaps okay or a lack of self-care now okay this other thing i was doing i was i make these smoothies in the morning my uh -huh. trainer recommended it's spinach cucumber water and half an avocado and okay. like powder and i blend it up and then i drink it at room temperature okay and i hated it like i didn't hate the mm. taste i just hated the temperature yeah for like three years i've been doing this three years and then yesterday i said to my trainer i'm like i just it's just so warm and yucky and she goes well you can put ice in it uh, or you can put it in the fridge yes and then it'll be much better cold very interesting and i did and it today did it and, and it's like, like a revelation i'm like you, oh my god this is so much better and for three years i just let myself every morning like i don't like this I don't like it. I'm just going to keep drinking it. Just I don't suffer like it. with it. So it's it. great. Like, suffer. yeah, you, you kind of, you take your time discovering things. Like you, you're yeah. like, you know how they solve a cold case 40 years later? Yeah. Yeah. Like real simple things in your life are cold cases. Yeah. yeah. That's true. It took 40 that years. a great way to put it together. Yeah. 40 years for you to be like, I figured out who committed the crime. I feel like <laughs> you're way nicer about it than than anybody that, that works on the show. Well, no, I'm analyzing it. That's yeah. why. Because yeah. I'm trying to because I'm trying to find because what I, I now this might be something because I'm really first of all, I, I studied political science in college, but yeah. if I could go back, I would love to study psychology. Oh me too. A lot of times I sit there and I go, Oh, that explains why I did this and this, right? So I will give you an example. Now I don't know you were talking about the immigrant thing, which could possibly be the mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. As immigrant kids, I don't know if it was the same for you. I was taught you got to respect your elders, respect Ugh. your parents, listen to them, all this stuff. Whereas my American friends were taught <laughs> like independence, talk back, whatever, whatever. Because mm -hmm. we used to get hit. My mom used to hit us yes. with a hanger, pull our ears, all kinds of shit. And it was like, it, and respect is huge in the culture. So one of the first times I was like, I don't know, fifth grade, sixth grade, I was at my buddy Jesse's house and Jesse's parents had divorced and his mom said something to Jesse and Jesse said something like, mom, shut up. And I just was like, oh shit, mm -hmm. Jesse's about to get his head knocked. <laughs> and then she said something like, Jesse, you're too much. And she walked away. I go, what? I go, that's it? I go, really? I go, what happened? He's like, nothing, man. She, you know, she, she talked to me and I talked, I go, yeah. you get what? away with that shit? No. I go, no. we couldn't do it. So to analyze all this, <laughs> to go back, possibly the reason you didn't question some of this stuff was possibly either your parents did that to you when you were younger or yes. you felt like that was the way to go? You got to wrap it around. <laughs> you know, your mom was like, Christina, you put around, you walk, you get no, no time. We don't have time. We have to go. I'm, I don't know. That's like a Russian accent. So I'm not sorry. I, I think it's a former. I think you're right. It's a because my parents were very much like, you, 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 
You you're not depressed. I am depressed. Yes. I grow up with uh, problems. You don't have no problem. Yeah. So a lot of what I wanted and thought and felt was invalidated. Yeah. So I think I grew up not not even thinking of my own needs. Like yeah. what what do you mean that I should have a need? So yeah. for me now isn't it like I'm undoing all that and then I go, Oh, like I should probably want this cold. Maybe yeah. that'll taste better. Who am I to put on <laughs> clothes on a dry shoulder? Wow. Who am we I? We got it. We cracked the case. Right? Yeah. Cracked it, yeah. Right? That's pe- it. People are suffering and I want dry yeah. shoulders? Yeah. No. Well, yeah. Highfalutin. What's crazy to me is that I never, she never mentioned it once. Hilarious. <laughs> once. And I you never, didn't catch it. Never. The, the shower. I mean, I'd see a towel. So I, I wasn't like, you're probably not drying off all the way, <laughs> yeah, yeah. right? Like, <laughs> Which would be a weird, that would be a weird yeah. perversion on your end. Honey, let me dry your yeah. shoulders. Yeah. Can I dry your Dude, toes? Dude, if I had noticed that at any <laughs> point, I would have been like, are you out of your fucking mind? Hilarious. Not drying yeah. off all the Hilarious. way. Hilarious. Yeah, there's no way I would But the, is there's nothing you do that you had an epiph. I mean, we had this For thing sure. with, with phone chargers and yeah, our Yeah, that home. was a big, that was the first one. The first one was we're living together, <laughs> living in apartments, and then like, you just, we're just like- <laughs> Getting up and walking across a room, yeah. you know, to to use the charger, yeah, and like <laughs> we had taking like turns, one. being one. like, "Well, you're using it now, fuck." And right. then, like one day after a few years, I was like, "Holy shit, I just had a breakthrough. We can buy another charger." <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. And then, like, I know. also, like when the outlets are used, <laughs> so I was yeah. like, "We can buy an outlet strip, we, yeah, and then have Multiple. more." Yeah, and we were like, "This is big time." <laughs> was it that in your mind you were like, "That's how Apple gets you. They sell you the phone, then you got to no. buy their accessories." No, <laughs> I wish, bullshit. I wish I had that. Like, no. it was literally like that's where it is. Hello. Right. That's the we one both you got use. locked in. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. No, it's funny because I'm so into this type of stuff now, like analyzing the oh, way you are. Yeah. Like Love my it. wife, what she'll do with the chargers is she makes chargers disappear. Oh. Yeah, I keep buying chargers, and then she'll be like, "Where I can't?" She'll she'll be upset. She, I can't, where's the chargers? And I'm like, "Mine is always there, yeah. and it's no longer there." So you took it. Yeah. So I don't know where they are. Knowing the spot, oh. like, because I'm really good now about um, I travel. Like I know how to pack and oh, yeah. where shit is. Right. Yes. And the only reason I know where it is because I always go to the same spot with it. Right. Yeah. I, I, yeah. The only thing that I lose now all the time, all the time, I bought so many of both of these things are sunglasses oh yeah my God. because like you know it's not about like one spot you yeah can, you know you, you could be in a car with them you could be on a plane yeah could, so i lose those and um earbuds oh headphones. the earbuds oh, oh, yeah. travel with. motherfucking uh, I, just, I should just have a running fucking account <laughs> at, a, at a store in the airport <laughs> bose so should them. bose should definitely sponsor you, you guys should say this portion <laughs> brought to you by bose bose computers bose, bose headphones bose, bose i would fucking love it because i've spent thousands now oh my god you know it was another one that we forgot when we lived in Redondo. So my husband, we had, we obviously we sleep in the same bed. My husband had the side table with a clock and the lamp. I did not have a side table or anything on my (laughs) side of the bed. So in order for me to see what time it was, I would have to uh, look, uh, lean up and look over. And if I wanted the lamp on, couldn't do it. Yeah. That went on for like years until I was like, I can buy a side table. I can get a side, side table. table. And I can have my own clock yeah. and my own lamp. We is like, it am- let's do it. <laughs> is it amazing when you do something that simple? Stupid. Like I have, I've had piles of shit just sitting in, like, in my room. And one day I'll go, let me clean this up. <laughs> and I'll clean it up. I'll be like, ah, oh, it was yeah. so, so easy. It felt so good. Also, I feel like the part of your mind that comes to the realization that you can get an end table in your own lamp. <laughs> yeah. It's not just about that. It's actually, it opens your mind up to so much more. You yes. Know, going like, yeah. oh, I can do, all, like it's weird. It, yeah. It seems so mundane. Yeah. But it makes you go, I can do all these other things. It's amazing. Know? It's amazing. Yeah. Like you can paint your walls any color you want. You can paint your walls. <laughs> like shit like that. And I'm serious. Like you, cause you think, I, I don't like these ugly white walls. Like, oh, you, you can paint them anything you want. You can, yeah. Yeah. You can have anything you That's want. That's another one. I think I, for a long time, you know, you live in an apartment in your twenties and you're like, well, the, this is what the walls look like. Yeah, this like, is that what was definitely me. Yeah, and then yeah. like they are the white, and and no I one put it. anything on them, so I won't. <laughs> yeah, like, it just yeah. look like a fucking yeah. And then you go to people's homes and you're like, wow, how'd you do this? Yeah. Like, how, I, who gave this to <laughs> you? How'd you, how'd you do I Like, know. wow, you got colors? <laughs> it's like, it's like, like, no, we did it. We did it. We, we just made choices. Did it. Yeah. 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 Wallpaper. Now I have wallpapered rooms in our home and I love it. And it brings me so much joy. But my parents would never have done that as I, immigrants. I, they would never. I wonder if part of that, because I also have friends who do a lot of that. So there's people that I know that are like highly opinionated. 
Ah. So they'll have like, they'll have, yeah. they're very specific about the things they buy, the things they do. I love this type of shoe. I did, And they're on it. And they're like, oh yeah, when the new gadget comes out, I like to know the new gadget. They're yeah. like, yeah. they're on right it. Away. They're all right away on it. So yeah. I wonder if they were encouraged as kids yeah. to like, go, ch- honey, you're, you are smart. You make your own yes. decisions. And they, Express and yourself. I think it has to be. It has to be. I think it has to be. Because <sighs> Now, people, different Persians feel different ways about this. Yeah. So I'm dying to know your. Yeah. We have we, a lot of our uh, Persian uh, exposure yeah. has come from Shahs of Sunset. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we've told people who are like, this is a garbage program. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then other people who are like, yeah, that's fun. Well, uh, my take on Shah, first of all, uh, uh, in all. Uh, um, uh, um, so people know, by the way, a Bravo show that was a reality show that has like. 10 seasons or some shit. Yeah, it's a reality show yeah. on Bravo, and it's kind of like um, Jersey Shore, but for Persians. Exactly. Right? Yes. Perfect. Now, now, LA Persians. LA dog. Persians, yeah. West full, dis- full disclosure, I actually dated MJ. <gasps> no! Yes. Mercedes yes. Javid? This yes. just became a YMH yes. exclusive. Wow! Yes. Full disclosure. Oh, my head's exploding. Yeah, yeah. When I, when I first... This is a YMH exclusive. <laughs> exclusive. When I first, what? When I first moved to L.A., because uh-huh. I grew up in Northern California, I moved down to L.A., and I dated her for a few years, and I was years. I was, yes, and what? I was and I was friends with, and I knew Reza. I knew all those guys. Reza, Reza June. June. Yeah, I knew all those people. So I knew them back then. All right. So that's full disclosure <laughs> out the gate. Huge fans. We've seen every episode. We've seen every yeah. episode. Yeah. So before I even like you know before I even started doing stand up, I was I was still in graduate school. I was gonna go get my PhD what? in political science. Of course you were. Yeah, and she was like good. doing real estate, and Rez I think did real estate. Whatever. Anyway, so long story short like towards the mid like 90 98 or so breakup i get into stand-up actually i got into stand-up right around the time we broke up and then after that you know mercedes yeah yeah mj mercedes yeah. mercedes yeah exactly did you know vida i knew vida and it's interesting because like i knew that first of all like i knew her mom and her dad and the father Sh- was shams? shams shams yeah shams. the father was na- i don't know if he was you know i, I in all honesty now I don't, I've maybe seen two episodes and the only reason I've only seen two episodes is because I'm not a fan of reality shows. Mm -hmm. For me, reality shows are like fingernails on a chalkboard Mm -hmm. in that like, even like my wife will have on the Kardashians just in the background. And I just, I hate that part where they'll go to somebody and then they'll talk shit about the other person. Yes. To me, it just sounds very very contrived. And it it sounds a lot like, I don't care who it is, whether it's Jersey Shore, Kardashians, Shaws, whatever. Now, let me, pull back a second further and go in my opinion the the joke i was saying about the shahs which i thought was what kind of captured it i said as an iranian american i feel it's a step in the right direction because for like 40 years we've been known as terrorists yeah now we're known as like drunks yeah. you know and i feel like oh american could be like oh these guys get drunk just like us like middle yeah. someone in middle america they party watch they party that's yeah. fantastic yeah. so to me and they flash and around. they flash yeah america yeah. as long as someone in middle america could watch that and be like oh yeah they, oh, they, they're not blowing anything up yeah. right and you celebrate naruz we yeah. learned about naruz see it's I a love it it's an interesting way to learn about a culture because a lot of iranians like you said are very uh, proud and stuffy about our culture. Well, I, we should say that the ones who usually push back on that show are usually older, right? You yeah. You mentioned it to yeah. somebody older. They're yeah. Like, uh. Yeah. But like people our age are just like, yeah, you know. They don't care. Yeah. Yeah. And also like, like so a lot of Iranians will be like, you know, we are lawyers and doctors. You should talk about our history. We had an empire. Da, yeah. da, 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 da. Yes. So I did, a, I did a movie a while back called Jimmy Westwood, American Hero. Mm-hmm. And it was like the Persian Pink Panther just like this like bumbling idiot who saves the world uh-huh. and i i co-wrote it and then i starred in it oh, wow. and it was just a silly comedy yeah we made it basically westwood <laughs> jimmy westwood yeah so we basically made it for like hilarious 12 year old boys and stoners like that's who love we wanted it. to see this and a similar thing happened with this it's just a silly movie and so there were a lot of 12 year old boys who liked it mm-hmm. but then there was a lot of these older persians who were like this is a disgrace to oh, our okay. culture <laughs> you know sure. we are that's, not like this you know that's funny because like when i would go visit it, it's, it's always like the older when i would go visit uh peru usually when i was younger i would bring friends sometimes yeah and one of the things that i would want to show them was is like the basically the the ghetto the the super poor areas yeah because it's like astonishing and it leaves an impact. Yeah. And like my uncles and aunts were like, why are you going to show them that? Yeah. And I was like, so that they can see this like, you know, incredible thing and actually 
makes you realize, you know, yeah. in the world how not everybody has all the privilege that you have. Yeah. And they were like, show them the nice shit. You yeah, know? yeah. Take them to the nice part. And I was like, no, no, no. I want to show them this. Well, thing. I think that a lot of people are proud of their cultures. And then the problem becomes when we come to America and your culture has been demonized. Yeah. Then you really don't want to show anything negative about that culture. That's true. But in my opinion, taking the Shahs or taking something like Jimmy, which is just a, you know, just like silly slapstick. In my opinion, it's actually a subversive way to show people, like you just said, you're talking about Nowruz. Now, would you have known about Nowruz, the Persian New Year, if it weren't through no. the Shahs of Sunset? So in a way, it's yeah. kind of like going like, hey, we're silly, silly, silly. Oh, here's a lesson. Da, 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 da. So I feel like, and, and by the way, life is like too serious anyway. So we yeah. need this kind of stuff. You Let's know? be clear about something. This is not ending here. When we're off mic, we oh, a lot A lot more details. questions. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> now, Matt said this just had a baby with her, um, I don't know. Tommy, her hey, her. what the fuck, guys? <laughs> yeah, see, I don't, again, I don't know, like, you guys know more about the show than I oh, do, yeah, so yeah. I don't know a lot we of the deeper. But yeah, she married seasons. a white guy from the East Coast. Yeah, and from I, Chicago, right? Oh, was he from Chicago? Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyways, I, I don't know if the... Yeah. The Persian family. No, I, I think he was on the East Coast. Maybe Remember, right. they went to New York Maybe right. to meet his family. He's like, "This is my family." Yeah, uh, you're right. You're probably right. Uh, uh, he's got like, the grossest accent. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. But I wonder if their family. If Reza's fucking funny. Reza's the. Reza's shit. very funny. He's very funny. Reza's very funny. Says so a lot of funny stuff. Even back then, I found him to be Reza funny. Jim. Like he's. And what that's, about um, Juicehead? Did you hang? Out? I don't oh, know. I didn't Mike. know any. I don't, oh, the, all the other yeah. guys, like I probably have met them here and there, but right. I didn't know them. But like those two, I knew well. But you, you know what's kind of cool though is like um, running, like that whole running with a circle, even as you age a little bit, like yeah. having that tight knit. At least on the show, it's obviously a show, like you said. Yeah, yeah. You know, a bit obviously orchestrated, contrived. Yeah. But um, you know, I think that's cool that to have like a tight circle of friends. Of course. I agree. You know, I mean, again, I don't know. I, you know, this goes back to the whole idea on reality shows. And even like, like when you're on a regular show, people think, oh, you guys are all best friends. And you're like, no, we just film together. And then that right. person goes off and I go yeah. do my thing. Yeah. So I have no idea who hangs with whom and why and how. I don't know. And I, But I do know that, like I said, it was at first there was a lot of controversy. Then a lot of the people in the community, I think, did start to embrace them <laughs> because they were like, oh, these guys are now celebrities. Yeah. Yes. Question. Yes. I have a Persian question for you. Yeah. Um, I grew up in the San Fernando Valley with many a Persian girl. Yes. And I had, when I was 13 years old, an 18 year old Persian girlfriend. Okay. And her father was very, very strict. Yeah. And one time we went to the beach and we had to take the bus together and she had to stop and call him every hour or two hours to Hilarious. check in. And pay phones back you in took the, the day. You took a bus from the valley to yes. the beach. It took like five hours. That it in itself, the horrible. fact that no parent would volunteer to drive no, you guys. No, so horrible. It. You want to go beach? You yeah. take bus to beach, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was fucking, both our parents are horrible. Hilarious. Anyway, she told me that Persian girls to maintain their virginity will butt sex. Take it in the butt. I've heard about that. Is this true? In the butt, Bob, in the butt. Remember that? <laughs> no, remember that? No. The dating game. You remember that? No. There's a great clip of, of the dating game where they, you know, in the dating game, they used to say, Bob Eubanks. Yeah, they, they would say, uh, oh, so they'll ask you, mm. You know, they'll send you to the other room and yeah. they'll ask her some questions and then you come back and then they'll ask you and they see if your answers match. So they had asked the wife, <laughs> what's the craziest place you've ever had sex before? And the <laughs> wife said like on a pool table or something. Yeah. And then the guy comes back and goes, so what's the craziest place? He goes, in the butt, Bob, in the butt. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. fantastic. Crazy. Yeah. Looks great. But um, is that, is that You know, true? I have heard that myself and I don't know if it's just Persian Jewish girls or Persian mm. Muslim girls. I don't know. I did not experience that myself in full honesty. Growing up in Marin. Well, grew up in Marin, there weren't even that many Persians. No, it's so, very so were most crackery. of your friends not Persian then in Marin? A lot of my friends were just white dudes and I I had a handful of Persian friends who I'd met through my, so, so when we came from Iran to America, um, uh, you know, obviously my parents had Persian friends. So, the, so I met the kids of those families and there was a handful of us and they all knew each other because there were so few of them. So they would be like, oh, Friday night, we're going to Eskenderipur's house. Saturday night, we're going to Masudi's house. And so we go to these different houses and there was a couple friends who were really close friends of mine who, who were same grade and happened to have Persian parents in America. And I would say that our experiences, though, were a lot more American than our parents. I hated going 
to like my these parties where like my parents would have like Persian music playing in the background. I was gonna ask you about yeah. this. Oh god, I because hated it. on the Shaws of Sunset house parties are a big deal and also how you dress up is a yeah. big deal you have to come gucci you have to wear your product yeah. you have to yeah. wear like yeah. your bling yeah. so did you experience that growing up the same way you had that epiphany about the towel and like yes. and maybe this was something in my chat like i had this i had this aversion towards those types of parties because it was so formal so just growing up i remember like when I, I started, I had a, uh, like, like the, the type of woman that I was attracted to was like dark haired exotic, but not Iranian. I was mm -hmm. like, I want, I, I want to meet like Latina women because, and why is that? And that was because I felt like Iranian women that came with that formality of like dressing up and she, you know, this is how I'm going to present myself. But from what I would hear behind closed doors, doing whatever they wanted to do. So just the whole hypocrisy of it. like Doing whatever, what does that mean? Just whatever it is, whether it's like sexually or, or what have you. Like you're just saying, like, for example, if really like you're saying like, oh, no, I'm a virgin. And then like you're taking it in the okay, butt. You're not okay. a virgin. I mean, come on. Let's just, right. re just relax. So they're you're presenting like they're. You yeah, you're an angel. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. They're presenting like they're Puritan, like, uh, you know, pur pure. And then. Well, I just closers. think, listen, there's a, there's a thing with the culture that like. I think there's a formality that comes with the culture, even the language, like like we have in Persian, we have just like you have in French and in Spanish, you have the formal you and mm -hmm. the, you know, informal, the yeah. informal. So in Persian, you meet people and it's all formal. You gotta go formal, formal. And at a certain point, it just, growing up in America, I felt like there was all these, like when I would talk to somebody who would talk to me and use the formal you, yeah. I just felt like, unless if it was like an older person and I, and I, and, but if they were of the same age and now yeah. they're talking to me with formal, <laughs> I just felt weird. like, yeah, but it was it's just, also, it's very American to be anti formal period. Absolutely. Because we're all like, nah, no, we don't play that shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to talk true. to you like you're, you're just like, I don't give a fuck where you, who you think it's you are. So I love that. True. I love that. Yes, a matter that's very fact, American. Matter of fact, my dad had this lawyer in, in, in Murray County. His name was John. And this guy was a big drinker. And my dad was a big drinker. And it was one of the first times I saw adult, an adult come. And he was, you know, American and my dad was the Persian dude. But like, I don't think his Persian friends would ever come over and like just openly cuss. Mm. Not in an angry way, but in a fun way. But the John, the lawyer would be like, oh, this is fucking great, man. We're fucking, this is fantastic. This motherfucker. And as a kid, I'm like, whoa, my dad's yeah. letting this. And my dad was having a great time. This is great. So that yeah. kind of loosened me up a little bit. And then later when I moved down to LA where you run into all these Persians, we have a family friend who's this Iranian woman who is like probably younger than my mom, but like older than, than me. And I would hear her cuss in Persian. And she was totally, and she was of this, like, she was like, she'd been married to somebody who was, you know, a uh, uh, royalty or whatever, but I just loved how easy going she was. She'd be like, get the fuck out of here. And I was like, <laughs> I love this lady. Yeah. So that kind of stuff, because we all know this stuff is happening. So the formality that comes with the culture mm. would kind of turn me off. So I didn't like to go to those things a lot. Um, now that I'm older, like I, 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 you know, I'll go to I, I, my friends. A lot of my friends are Iranian American and will go, but I still am not into the bling. Like I'm not. I was a, gonna say, is is it authentically Iranian American though to be blingy and flashy? I think what you have is so Iranians in general, especially the ones that have money, obviously love bling. Mm. Now we've got, and then we've got L.A. where bling is king. <laughs> now you bring Iranians, you put them in L.A. <laughs> It's like a monster of bling. Yes. And I, I, yeah. I, I ran it. When I first came down to LA from Northern California, it was like, again, in Marin, there was a lot of wealth, but it was a lot more subtle back then. And I talk about it in my standup. I go like, I knew guys whose dads were like the CEO of a bank, but the guy would be in, you know, khaki pants and a blue buttoned up shirt, mm -hmm. right? And my parents already, my father, who wasn't super blingy was already blingy. So he'd have, a, he, you had to have a Mercedes because he was Persian. Mercedes, yeah. Mercedes, 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 Mercedes. My dad bought a Rolls Royce at one point. Whoa. Rolls Royce. Yes. And so now, whereas some kids might be like, oh, this is great. Pops bought a Rolls Royce. First of all, the reason my dad bought the Rolls Royce was because he had, he, he was a self-made millionaire in Iran. He brought a lot of his money to America. And then anytime his friends would be running out of money, they would tell my dad, hey man, I got this Rolls Royce, will you buy it? Or I got this car, will you? Um, my dad was taking stuff off people's hands. <laughs> to help, gotcha. kind of. and, but he would, you know, he liked it, he'd be driving it. And I was mortified. I was so embarrassed to be in the Rolls Royce because I'm like, dad, there, there's the hostage thing going on. Oh, uh, right. <laughs> right, already they're calling us like oil well tycoons at the school, you know, you get yeah. teased already. They used, they used to call us fucking Iranian during the hostage crisis. That's what they would call it. And I'm lucky, like, I think I was, because I was relatively nice, I don't think I ever got beaten up, but they would beat you up. They, they stole the pedals off my bicycle. I don't know who or Jeez. what or During why. During that conflict? During around that conflict. Yeah. 
again, I do, I do a joke about it on stage, but there was this guy who was in the sixth grade. I believe, I'm, I'm 99% sure he called me fucking Iranian. And I was like, I don't know what to say back to him. And then they stole the pedals. And then there was, and I, and there was a black Maybe kid. Maybe he meant it like, hey, you're fucking Iranian. Hey, right? you're fucking Iranian. Yeah, That's right. Cool. Up. No, so, and then, and then like there was a black kid who was in the fifth grade who kind of like helped me. He's like, yeah, bro, you know, you, you just like turn the other cheek kind of thing. And, like, and, and on the stage I go, the guy put his arm around me and was like, hey, bro, I've been dealing with this shit for 200 years. Let me tell you how you gotta deal with it. But the truth is that up there, like I said, I, I wasn't, I, it, there was a lot of wealth, but it wasn't as blingy. And then I come down here and I see the bling. And in all honesty, again, I was always turned off by the bling. Like I'm always just a little bit, like like to this day, I'm 47, that's a great bling. I mean, you gotta have that. $40,000, Maz. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, worth every penny. That. You should do that. You should do that all you the know, time. My, you know, my, I mean? <laughs> my, my step, my Indian stepdad and my Hungarian mom, when they hooked up, they were all about the bling tail. <laughs> it was all about showing, showing the wealth. Yeah. And I think because my my stepdad grew up so poor in India, yeah. he became a millionaire a few times over. Yeah. Um, and it was important to show it. Like he had like a crazy Rolex and yeah. like rings and like the Mercedes and yeah. all these nice things. You have to show people that you're not a fucking loser. Well, know? I have you know like my wife is actually Indian, and so she comes from oh. that. She comes from a background as well where a you lot of they, Indians are flashy too. Yeah, they like they gold like and all that. Yeah. It, yeah. But please, in all honestly, like please, my, Russell Peters. Please. Russell, oh, yeah, come on, Russell. Russell. No, Russell's my wife and I are like. Damn. I think we are of the same mind with that kind of stuff where like i would like if i like like a few years ago i decided finally i want to get a watch like like a like a you know a watch like a with a whatever silver or a whatever nice gentleman's watch nice gentleman's watch yeah. i was like it's time to do it and i started looking and there was a rolex that had this orange hand i love the color orange it had this orange hand but it was silver and i was like maybe i'll get that to the milk go, house yes exactly and then i go maybe i get mm. that and i was like i go you know what let me keep looking and then i found a tag hoyer or whatever that it's it's you know, a little cheaper. Yeah. And I felt like, you know what? It's still nice. So I, like, I, at no point was I looking at the color gold. You're know saying like, yeah, I don't like. Then culturally, it should be gold culturally, for Persians. I, yeah. I should be all over that gold. <laughs> I know. And yeah. I was like, and even like now I found like my, my cousin who collects watches from time to time, you know, he, he, the Philippe Patek, right? Yeah. He took me to like the, I was in, I was doing a show in Switzerland, those are, Geneva. Those are serious. Man. They're serious. So it was in Geneva. It's the heart of Philippe Patek. It's where it started. I had no idea what these things cost. Like they they go up to like millions of dollars. They start at like thirty five. Really? Start start at thirty five. So Jeez. he took me and they were showing me the watches, and it, without knowing the pricing, like the one that I liked was the one with a black band as opposed to anything. I just don't right. like. You yeah, like but that's you, know, you have your own style, and I just don't like super bling. I don't know why. I, know. I, I didn't like it either. You are not Persian. Guys. You are yeah, not Persian. and I didn't like it either because I associate it with my mom and my my stepdad and their garishness, and it yeah. was like so gross and shallow. Yeah, but now look at you, girl. Mommy, kind of. Yeah. I'm I'm dipping my toes no, but, into it. I kind of now I'm, my roots, bro. Like I can't look. I can't fight it. You know listen, what I'm saying? Like I'm fucking Euro trash inside. Listen, once it comes you're out. once you're at a certain age where you're like you've worked on yourself. I think part of that yes. for me is a big deal. Like I feel like a lot right. of people at a younger age embrace that because they've seen their parents do it. Now they start doing it. And it's like, listen, work on yourself first. That's, yeah. That also goes for like plastic surgery. I think that's big in our culture. The Persians get plastic surgery left and do right. Do they? What do they get most oh my God. done? I think Iran has one of the highest rates of nose jobs. Sure. Like for the while, from what I heard, Iran in Iran, like it was almost a status symbol. You had to have that little Band-Aid here. Yeah, show, dude. Let yeah. people know. Because I remember, because I, I, I grew up in a mostly Persian neighborhood. Yeah. And there was like between that seventh and eighth grade summer, yeah. do all the Persian girls walk around with like the Band-Aid? The deviated <laughs> septum. Yeah, yeah. Dude, the deviated yeah. septum. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, and I, my whole point is like, listen help this kid find themselves like i love when i see like like for example yara shahidi you know yara shahidi no. the girl on uh, blackish the black girl on blackish okay beautiful girl if you see her you, you you know who i'm talking about her father is persian her mother's african-american and this kid she's on blackish and you see her and on blackish she's playing you know teenager 15 year old whatever and so they always have like a new hairdo and she's always on her phone and she's kind of she's kind of sassy a little bit and um, I've met her a few times and she's like totally opposite that character. And then one time it just really stood out. She was on Colbert and she was being interviewed for, I guess, Blackish or whatever. And he asked her, he's like, and she's like, I'm turning 18. And he goes, what are you doing for your 18th birthday? And, he, and by the way, she showed up with like nerdy glasses, like just like really down to earth looking. Mm. He goes, what are you doing for your 18th birthday? She goes, I'm holding a, a voting, a voter uh, 
birthday. I'm getting my friends to register to vote. And I, to me, I go, that kid is such a more advanced human being mentally than yeah. half the Persians that I know that are like 35 who are like, look at oh, my yeah. watch and look at my <laughs> bling and my car. I'm like, bro, I don't want to talk uh, about your bling. Forget, forget uh, Persian. Yeah. She's just more advanced than most than people. Me. Most people. Yeah. Anybody. Yeah. And so that's why I think that's the kind of stuff that, that made me go, <laughs> I don't want it. Like even now at the age of, I'm 47 now. And it's funny because I, again, my parents had Mercedes and I've been in Mercedes and some of these Mercedes are beautiful. And like, the, and yeah. it's the, and it's nice and it's got great things, like great features. And there's been times where I've been like, God, I should. I think I'm at the age where I could get a Mercedes, but I'm like, no, I, I still get like the Audi. Not to say I'm any more superior, but I just feel like there's there's something in the back of my mind that makes me feel like it's more blingy. Yeah, the Audi, the the Mercedes. The Mercedes oh, the Mercedes. Yeah, Mercedes. <laughs> yeah it's the association. It's your thing. It it's with, your brand. You know. it's the brand. Because when I got a Mercedes, Tommy got me an SUV, yeah. and I rem like, I remember the first time I got into it. I went. My mother, when she passed away, I inherited all these fur coats these yes. horrible yes fucking fur jackets yeah. and i was like hold on i can't sit in this mercedes until i have my fur coat on of course and i went and i, I remember this we went to get frozen yogurt yeah. and i put on my fur coat and <laughs> i got into our mercedes and i went to get a frozen yogurt just to like that's great play out this this is ridiculous like yeah. who am i to have a mercedes yeah this is silly it's like it's but it's fun and then you you know you go through a phase and maybe it's not fun for a while no i think i think again i think once you're mature and you're at a certain age where you've like you know you've you've you know you've you've actually lived life a little bit and you've yeah. got a personality then you do what you want but i just feel like the the unfortunate thing in my culture i see a lot is that people put like i've seen kids you know teenagers with mercedes and i that's and I, stupid i want to talk to those parents and be like do you know what you're doing to these kids it's they're crazy. gonna wrap you know, around a pole anyway. yeah have the kid you know put him in a like a used car let him learn like i i had you know, I had jobs, uh, you know, working at a sandwich place when I was 13 or 14. And that was the best thing I ever did because even though my father had money at the time, I just felt it feels good. And it you does. feel, yes. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was, Can I, I was sorry. moving, you know, I was a mover for a place at it's 14. Great. And you got to do it. Grunt you work. got to fucking Construction do it. jobs. Yeah. You got to do it. Gives you a, a sense of, of self-value, you know? Yeah. I run into some of these kids again, like in the, in our community and like not as much, but but you'll see them from time to time. And like, and the kid is like, you know, even if you're, even if it's like the kids getting good education, and all this other stuff, I just, I go, look, this kid's never like been in a bad area. Like, he, you know, they, they should, they, that's why working in a, in a deli or something, you're going to, you're working with the manager or the other guy that's working with you. That's his job. He's got a family. Yeah. Yeah. Just hearing about that guy and going like, he's like, oh, I got to go take my kids, this and that. And you're like, wait a minute, you're making 12 bucks an hour and you're running a family? It's crazy. You know, so at 14, expose yourself to that. So then at least you sit there and go, shit, I got to do something, you know? It's true. Yeah, man. May I ask you a stupid question yes. that I've wondered like my whole life? Yeah. And it is stupid. Yeah. <sighs> you're Persian. Yeah. You're Iranian. Yes. You speak Farsi. Yes. Why? But, but but you know what I'm saying? When do you yeah. use the word I'm Persian versus yeah. I'm Iranian? So confusing. You're right. And and part of it was I, I started to find out. So so I guess they used to call it the Persian Empire. The West called it Persia. And then I think I was just looking this up recently. I think Iran means the land of the Aryans, I believe, mm. because Iranians come from the Caucasus Mountains. So we're the Aryans before it became Hitler's Aryans like I gotcha. mean, like original. we're original white people gotcha right and uh and so I think it became a political thing where uh so uh the 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 Shah who was overthrown in the last revolution 79 his father I think was like listen in like 1935 or something he said stop calling it Persia we're gonna call it Iran like mm -hmm. we want the west to call us Iran we're the land of the Aryans oh Right, so that's what he wanted. And then... Um, <laughs> Is that what you like? Well, I so I came to America, and then I think what happened was because as soon as we got to America, I don't think Americans didn't really know much about Iran until the revolution happens in 79. Yeah, Americans are like, oh, what's going on? Then we take hostages. That's when Americans knew about <laughs> Iran. That's They're true. like, who are these mother... Get these motherfuckers. <laughs> fucking Iran. That's when... Yeah. It, then Iran, all of a sudden, you're like, uh, you know... I know people that were saying they were Italian at the time because they didn't want to be associated with Iran. People, my dad is from northern Iran, so he's close. He speaks, he's, uh, he, he would speak Turkish. 
which is like Azerbaijani. So he would sometimes say he's Turkish just to like not the deal with it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah, you got it. <laughs> yeah. So so I think what happened was there was so much Turkish negative. Girlfriend. There was so much negative stuff with Iran, whether it was the hostage crisis, Iran Contra. Not without my daughter. That movie. Not yet. Yes. Remember that one. It was constant bad yeah, press. You're right. So a lot of like you're associate. Like it's weird to think of it, but like now I realize that like people are meeting you and they're like, "You must be evil." You must be evil. Yeah. Which is I never. Evil yeah, is but in your heart. Or I remember. I think it was in college at one point. Or after not without my daughter, I was talking to some girl at a nightclub <laughs> and we started talking and we were having a good conversation. She goes, "Where are you from?" I said, "Iran," and she just walked away. Damn. I swear to God. That fucking Sally Field, Dude, right? Dude, imagine that, that fucking, fucking, fucking Sally bitch Field. made that movie. Followed that girl and killed her. Exactly. That, that would have been legendary. You too? How about me too, bitch? Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, so it was, uh, so I think that's when a lot of Iranians were saying they're Persian because uh -huh. then Americans were so stupid right. that we don't Persian. even know, whoa, French, fantastic, yeah, Parisian, okay. you know, or it sounds like a cat. Of course. Right? No, it's a, it's one, it is fascinating the term and what people, and then, you know, that applies even to, you know, people, some people like prefer African-Americans. So yes. Like, no, dude, I'm black. You know, yeah. it, just, it just depends case by case, I guess. You the know? other day I was at the improv. I'm doing a show talking to the guy in the, in the front. Where are you from? I'm Mexican. Talk to the lady next to him. I say, you Mexican too? She goes, I'm Spanish. I go, you're from Spain? No. She goes, I'm Latina. I go, okay, so we slowly getting our way back to Mexico? I go, so yeah. are you Mexican? She's like, my parents are. I go, so it's funny that she's trying to That's avoid true. the whole Mexican yeah. thing. by saying she's Spanish, right? Spanish, yeah. Exactly what you're saying. Yeah. And then, and then the language now, the language, Iranians call the language Farsi. Right. And there's been a whole movement now amongst like educated Iranians to say in the West, we should be telling people that they should call it Persian because that's the language. So it's kind of like saying like, it, like if a Spanish person would say they speak Espanol, mm. but we say they speak Spanish. Oh, correct. I right? see. So Farsi yeah. is So Persian the is, like sp is like saying Spanish. Uh -huh. Farsi. Espanol is like saying, Farsi is like saying Espanol. Gotcha. So Farsi is more on point though. That sounds like you're saying the right thing. Yeah, I'm all, and I, by, by the way, I, I changed them left and right. So when I first started doing stand up, intentionally I would say I'm Iranian because I kind of wanted to put it in people's faces and go, look, I'm proud. I'm not trying to hide behind anything. Yeah. And I did a whole bit about how Iranians say they're Persian look, and all that stuff. So Persian I'm, is kind of a concealing element it's it's the intent is a little fancier than it you're supposed I'm, I'm not Iranian I'm yeah Persian. yeah aha uh -huh. yeah okay I know you got to get out of here yeah and yes. I hate that yeah um, I'm bummed out too. too I'm sorry yeah next yeah. time come you do something that most people none of us will get to do yeah a lot of people get to do movies TV shows specials you got invited to the White House yes what I yeah. didn't know that yeah. yeah and I saw I watched yeah you, I was like watching CNN or something yeah like, oh yeah I don't know what it was yeah on. yeah and I was like holy shit yeah, no, I said it, you're talking with Obama. It was crazy shit. It wasn't. Obama, it was. It was Michelle Obama. So what happened is, I was actually having this conversation with Chris D'Elia the other day because Chris, as you guys know, was in the latest Eminem yes. Logic song. Logic yeah. song. Yes, and he was talking about <laughs> homicide. He, homicide. And he was talking about. He goes, I never would have thought I would have done this. And and he said, he said when he first started stand up, he goes, I, well, he said the two <laughs> things I might have put on is like be mentioned in a rap song and and go on Saturday Night Live. And I go, not only were you mentioned in a rap song, you're rapping with Eminem. I go, so yeah. so you might not end up hosting Saturday Night Live. You might end up running Saturday Night Live. Like, that's how it felt. Yeah. And I was I was thinking about how, and I'm sure you guys have had these types of moments where when you first st start out, like I'm not one of these guys who goes, here's my one-year plan, my five-year no, plan, my 10-year no. plan. None of that. I was just like, I just want to be a regular at the clubs. I'd like to get on the late night shows. Would love to have a sitcom. And that was, you know, that was it but never in my wildest dreams would I thought I would ever perform at the White House. Ugh. And it was just the universe coming together. So what happened was under the Obamas, they started doing this thing where they would reach out to different communities and they would encourage them to come and like they would throw a party for, you know, like the Greek community to celebrate whatever the Greek Orthodox people celebrate yeah. and, you know, the, the Muslim community and this and that. So for Noruz, for Persian New Year, um, they did an event at the White House and actually, Obama had a handful of Iranian-American people working in his administration. And these were people that have grown up in America, and they're very, like, on top of it, young, and, and they're on it. So they helped organize these Persian New Year events. And so one of the first years, they invited me, because in the Persian community, I'm well-known. And so Sam Tripoli says, he goes, you're like the Persian Elvis, otherwise known as Pelvis. <laughs> and so... So, you know, in putting their guest list together, they, they invited me and I was like, what is this? And they go, well, you know, we're gonna have a meal and this and that. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I can make it. So I didn't go. The second year. <laughs> what? Well, the first year I didn't go because I was like, I was doing a show in, in New York and I would have had to like get the kids and my wife on an airplane, fly there, do it, go. It was just too much hassle. Yeah. And I also kind of felt like it was gonna be like, you're gonna be in the back of some room 
and I don't know who was going to speak. And, oh. and that's kind of what it turned out to be. Somebody who went told me, they're like, it wasn't like hanging out with Michelle Obama. It was like, oh, there she is. And here I am eating at the White House. Oh, that's so, nice. so the second time I got invited, it was, again, the organizers reached out and they said, we, we would like you to actually speak at this event. Oh, wow. And that's when I was like, wait a minute, what yeah. are you talking about? And I didn't realize like the, the, the gravity of it. Sure. And, and so what they did was, again, I got a chance to bring my wife and my mom and my sister and my family and my kids. And we all went there and it was a Persian New Year event. And they said, basically, you're going to go up. And it's funny because as a stand-up, I thought, I thought they wanted me to like do stand-up. So I kind of came up with like a, uh, like a speech that had already built in yeah. jokes. So I kind of, and I put it together and I'm going, and then they go, you're going to do five minutes and then you're going to bring up Michelle Obama. I was like, what? What? Yeah. So how cool is that? Wow. So how, how do you prepare that? Bringing up. Well, oh I just took, I took this little bit that I'd done and then I got to meet her in the room before, <gasps> like the, she met our family. We, we have this picture that's like one of our favorite that's pictures. Great, We're all together. And it was funny because um, I later came to realize every time you see these guys talk, like the, you know, Trump now speak or whatever, that podium that they're standing on, that was the same podium I was at. <laughs> wow. I got to be at that podium. That's and wild. so it was something I would never it's have crazy. thought of. Crazy. And it happened. So unique. It's so unique. So special. Yeah. And it's just, again, like, listen, man, we don't That's know. That's a cool life story. Yes, it is. It is. And it goes back to, like, whenever I get a chance, I talk to, when it, like, because my mom and dad wanted me to be a lawyer and they were really pushing for that. And they would, never would have wanted me to do this. They of tried course. to talk me out of this. So whenever I get a chance and I talk to somebody young, I go, listen, dude, if you like something, Go for it. Screw your parents. You've got to live for yourself. It's true. And it doesn't mean necessarily you're going to be successful at it, but at least you'll be happy. That's true. At least. Pursuing what you love to do. Yeah. And then maybe you'll get a chance yeah. to go to the White House. Here's or Obama. come on your mom's house. Yeah. Here's yeah. Obama uh, talking about it, actually. Oh. You ain't my bitch, nigga. Buy your own damn fries. Now, you know that guy ain't shit. Sorry ass motherfucker got nothing on me, right? Nothing. There are white folks, and then there are ignorant motherfuckers like you. There you go. That was how it was. I remember that moment. That so was weird. That was a great, great moment in that my is, life. That is Obama. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah. Great. That's yeah. fantastic. <laughs> I miss him. It makes me miss him a lot. Yeah. 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 It's Who my doesn't? favorite quote of his. Yeah. yeah. My favorite speech. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I know you got to go. All right. So, yeah. Thank I'm you for coming. Master Mars. Brownie, um, do you anything you want to direct people Yes. I or? have my own podcast going now. It's called Back to School with Maz Jobrani. Back to School with Maz Jobrani. And I'm on social media at Maz Jobrani. And you can find the podcasts on itunes youtube all that stuff so hit me up at maz jobrani twitter instagram I'm, I'm teaching a persian word of the week every week i love that what's, what's your this word week? follow me last week I, I taught how to say uh um was it last week or the week before i taught people how to say like get the hell out of here oh mm -hmm. say it you say boro boro means go boro and then baba which is dad baba, baba. so you go boro baba which boro means like baba. like boro baba boro baba um bo jamish jamish, jamish. con you got it that's the way you got to do it Jamish means like pack it up yeah so it's like like get out of here dad but it's like you're saying like get the hell out of here dude pack it up every week you'll learn a phrase if you follow me on instagram love that shit love it thanks guys thanks Maz. McDonald's cheeseburgers. McDonald's lay of fish. McDonald's chicken nuggets. McDonald's fries. Free McDonald's all the time. Free McDonald's all the time. Free McDonald's all the time. You got a McDonald's, nigga? Burgers, burgers, burgers. Lay of fish. Burgers, burgers, burgers. Chicken nuggets. McDonald's cheeseburgers. McDonald's lay of fish. So good. It's so good. Thanks, McDonald's. Thank you, McDonald's. Is a happy meal for a boy or a girl? Yeah. What's up with that? Why don't you pick your own pronoun? And the nuggets. I love the nuggets. Who's last time you had a big Many, many French fries. Many, many, many French fries. You got a McDonald's, nigga. Burgers, burgers, burgers. Lay of fish. Burgers, burgers, burgers. Lay of fish. McDonald's. Go hardcore. If you're drunk, it's even better. How does two point three million dollars sound? Burgers, burgers, burgers. Lay of fish. Burgers, burgers, burgers. I like these fries. McDonald's. Cheeseburgers. McDonald's. Lay of fish. Thanks, Thanks McDonald's. It's delicious. Hey, I, I can't remember the last time I had a filet of fish, but it's fantastic. Oh, fuck yeah. Hi, thank you for watching that episode of Your Mom's House. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more, you can click on any of these videos in this general area. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please do. It helps feed our cats. We don't have any cats. <laughs>